Happy Sunday morning, everybody. It's Good Morning Vail. I'm Liz. We are ready to do a lot of different types of workout routines. We're going to get in shape. We're going to feel good about ourselves. Sit back, enjoy. Good Morning Vail starts right now. So many amazing things going on here in our community. I love to talk about so many great things. And here at TV8, we just absolutely love the Eagle County Animal Services and Control. They are such a great organization with so many altruistic people. And if you've never gotten a chance to meet anybody, well, on September 3rd over at the shelter, you get to meet all the officers and everybody involved with all of the adoptions and the help that we see daily here in our community for the animals, cats, kittens, and Komodo dragons, whatever they are, they will take care of them. They will take them in and find them a new home. But we want to meet the people behind this. And so that's what's taking place on the 3rd from 12 to 3 over at the shelter. So make sure you get on over there. And if you'd like to volunteer, you can always find out how to do that online as well. So that's going to be taking place. Also, don't forget, today's the big farmer's market in Vail. We love getting over there to people watch. Enjoy some of that late fruit from the season and so many more great things. And tonight is a great show over at the Gerald Ford Amphitheater. If you want to go see Tosh Sultana, it's going to be a great show. That takes place tonight. It's a ticketed show. Get your tickets at grfavail.com. And then Wednesday the 30th, we had the wonderful Michelle Cohn-Levy. She's the cantor locally at B'nai Vale, and she's just an incredible singer. And, well, she's hoping, uh, hosting rather an open mic at ProSit, and that's going to take place on Wednesday. If you got the chops, get on out there for open mic. You can do whatever you want. Play an instrument, sing a song, do something well, and enjoy the fun over at ProSit with Michelle. That's going to be a lot of fun. All these great things on the community cal calendar and so much more. I'm Liz. We have a big show for you guys. Stick around. We'll be right back. Good morning, Vail. Here at Sun and Ski Sports, we are all about having the best summer adventures. Our full service bike shop is here to help you get back on the saddle with services ranging from simple tire changes, full bike overhauls, and rentals. If trail running, hiking, or trips to the lake are your thing, our expert staff will fit you in the best performing footwear or clothing. And don't forget about a relaxing day on the water with our stand-up paddleboard rentals. Call Sun and Ski Sports in Avon or Dillon today or learn more at sunandski.com forward slash CO. Hi, it's Julio from TV8 Vail. Do you ever wonder why our tagline is there's more for you on 92? Because we're always bringing you more. More Good Morning Vail from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. all year long. More local coverage with Vail Vibes and Covered Bridge on TV8. More opportunities to participate with new roundtable panels on Mountain Perspectives and our new Spanish programming block coming this fall. Find us on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92 on YouTube or our website at tv8vail.com.
Thank you for watching Good Morning Vale. Have an amazing day. Get on out there, soak up that sunshine. We'll see you tomorrow right here for more Good Morning Vale. Bye, everyone. Hi, I'm Gretchen Fleshaw. You might recognize me from the Glitz and Glam with Gretchen. Maybe you hear my voice on the radio from time to time or see me out at a concert or two. I love concerts. If you see me out, the long mermaid hair, I'm almost six foot tall, it's hard to miss. Come and say hi, give me a high five and make sure to watch me right here on TV8. Welcome back to the show, everybody. It's a Sunday, and you know what that means. We're going to get in shape. I brought one of my favorite people today. This is Elizabeth Sullivan. Hello. Hello, Liz. I'm thank so happy for, to see you. Yes, and thank you for having me. Oh, my God. Yes. So I've been yapping about the Vail Valley Theater Company's production of Tony and Tina's Wedding. This is where I met this amazing lady, and... That is enough for me just to have done that, to have met you, because you're incredible. Aww, you're so sweet. But the one thing, we were all stressed, and we all were, like, a little chaotic. And before each show, you would gather us in a circle and do some sort of mindfulness, just togetherness. And we would pump each other's hand as we went around the circle. And it was just something so profound and wonderful that I wanted to bring you on so you could share some of your knowledge on how we can keep our state of mind in a good place, especially as we get older, we have so many things. We're looking at our bodies, we're like getting really mad and all that great stuff. So yeah. I know you're gonna do a couple of things with me this morning, but tell us everybody what you do and how people can find you if you wanna do any private lessons at home or anything like that. Sure, sure. Well, I have been in the fitness industry since the 80s. Oh. And um, 80, maybe even, uh, yeah, 80s. She's still not as old as me, so it doesn't matter. I am. No. Yeah, go. <laughs> and, and so, oh my God, back in the day I used to teach aerobics and aqua aerobics and oh, yeah? crazy, crazy things, uh -huh. you know, spinning, this and that. So I've always been in the fitness industry because I was a dancer. I was a professional dancer and um, a dance major. So nice. I have a degree in that and oh. kinesiology. I'm so into the body. I'm so into um, taking care of yourself. And as I age, my mantra is keep moving. I have a 90-year-old mother with total dementia, oh. but I will make her do chair yoga Aww. or something just to move. It's really, really important to move. And when people are like, oh, I can't ski 100 days anymore, or, or I can't climb a 14 or so, I can't mm -hmm. climb a 14. I never could. I have two joint replacements, I have two hip replacements, right. I'm bone on bone on the knee. The point is, is that our exercise or our fitness and our wellness, it evolves as we age. And it's- That's very good point. And, it, and it's really important to just keep moving, even if we're not doing the crazy CrossFit stuff that we can used to do in our 20s, 30s, 40s, even 50s well into my 60s and I like telling people that because I want people to know that you can feel good in our 60s, 70s, yes. 80s. And that's a lot of things I like to bring to light, especially with me in the weekends because I'm also in the same age bracket. And you know, I, I don't like saying cliches, but motion is lotion. <laughs> it really is, it keeps your joints moving. Right. And a body at rest does stay at rest and then you end up with atrophy and you end up tired all the time and right. then you're not eating right because you're not doing, you don't care. Self-care is so important. Even if you're mad at yourself that day, you get yourself up and do something. Right. Any little thing for yourself right. is so important. And I, I teach everything, I mean, not everything, sorry, I have to take that Close back. Close to it. But I'm certified in Pilates and I'm certified in yoga nice. and still spinning. And I love to incorporate everything in um, with my clients. Sure. Yes. Well, so, I think it's amazing. And I love anybody that has this altruistic approach to exercise. You don't only do it for yourself. You want to bring us all in. You want to make us all feel good and have right. a great experience. You know, exercise is not, it doesn't have to be daunting. It doesn't have to be, oh, no. God, i got to get myself up. into. The, you literally can look forward to it if you have the right practice. And some people have this mindset of, oh, oh, my gosh, I don't have an hour a day. And I'm like, it doesn't have to be an hour a day. So what I'm going to do with Liz today, 
one of the sequences is on the foam roller. Whether you have five minutes or you have 20 minutes, it doesn't matter. We, I'm going to show you that today. I love that. And I've never really known what these are for. <laughs> okay. To me, it's something like you can pop your head back in the bed when you're hanging out. You know. So silly. I'm excited to learn what to do with this thing in my jig and so many more great things. I'm really happy to have you here with me this morning. Are you ready to get into some exercising with me? And Yep. We got some Zen stuff and yep. all kinds of great things. Elizabeth is well-rounded in the field of fitness. So we're going to get ready to roll out. Well, we already rolled out the bat. We're going to roll me out and we're going to do some exercises. So get ready, get in your comfy stuff and sit on the floor and get ready to join us for some great things to take care of our bodies and our mind. We'll be right back. TV8 Vail is serving the community 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Stop by for Good Morning Vail at 7 a.m. and stay all day for lifestyle favorites such as Good Day Vail, Daily Flash, Suki and Scott, and more. And you're sure to find the adventure you crave with back-to-back -back episodes of Scoreboard Nation and Outdoor America. Find us all day, every day on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92, on TV8Vail.com, and on all our social media platforms. There's more for you on Channel 92. Nap Harvest, your local marketplace for fresh, locally produced products. Our indoor farmer's market is open seven days a week, featuring locally grown organic produce, prepared meals, honey from our nap nectar hive, furniture, cutting boards, and much more. We source and sell locally grown and produced products from the Vale and Roaring Fork Valleys. Visit us at our new location in Eagle Ranch, 717 Sylvan Lake Road, next door to Color Coffee Roasters. Hey there, on Good Day Vale, I am so thrilled to be talking about TEDx Vale. And if you don't know much about TED or TEDx, it is an episode that you need to watch. And it's all about helping spread fabulous ideas and creating behavior change that it really can have a humanitarian aspect. So stay tuned and watch our episode today on Good Day Vale. Do you love the outdoor lifestyle? Make sure you tune in every day at 8 p.m. to catch Scoreboard Nation. It's an outdoor lifestyle show dedicated to your three favorite mountain towns, Vail Beaver Creek, Park City, and Reno Tahoe. Join us for an incredible venture. Find us on TV8 Vail, Park City Television, or at thescoredboardnation.com. We can't wait to see you there. In America's heartland, live in Welcome back to the show. It's Sunday. We're getting in shape with Elizabeth Sullivan. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you. She's got this scary looking thing and we're going to experience <laughs> it right now. This is a foam roller, everybody. Okay. So what do we do with, and what is the purpose? Okay. So I love putting people on foam rollers. Yeah. I used to put all my little old ladies with kyphosis or osteoporosis Not on yet. the foam roller. Now I put everybody on the foam roller because... Everybody is on their devices, so our bodies are f leaning forward. Our necks Ugh. are cranked. I have a son-in-law who's 35. He has the worst back. He has an 85-year-old back because wow. he writes code every day. Oh. He's at the computer every day. 
he's not going to be happy that I said that, but but he lays on the foam roller every single wow, day. Wow, that's great. So this right. actually helps align you a little bit as it, well? Oh, absolutely. Really? We, you, we used to do it in PT all the time. Okay. Now we take it into the mainstream fitness. Nice. And it is wonderful. So whether you have five minutes or 15 minutes, I'm going to kind of show you what to the do basics. here. Basics. So, All right, everybody, I'm jamming out on a foam roller. So Liz How do is I lay gonna, on it? Liz is going to lay long ways. Let me just show you. Okay. Okay. I know it's not attractive getting down, but tailbone is at the end, and then you lay Whoa. down. And I want, I'm a tall drink of water. Yes, yeah, she is. So <laughs> I have to use my hands at the base, and I pull myself down because I want the head to be on okay. the foam roller. I want the rib cage to be in. I want the whole spine to be touching. So here is where I'm gonna take okay. you. Do you think you? I think I can do it. Okay, here so we go. So she's a tall drink of water. I'm a short shot. Let's <laughs> try and see what's gonna happen here. All right, so I sit on the roller. Yep. Whee! Okay. And then you go all the way back. <laughs> this feels weird. Core, Wait. core, core. My microphone boxes. I in the know. Way. I just felt that too. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh, wow. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay. So okay. it's not only it's the awkward. whole frontal core, uh -huh. rib cage, middle. We call that middle Buddha belly, bikini mm. belly, uh -huh. transverse abdominis. But it's our obliques and our QLs, okay. quadratum laborum. Wow. So pull the rib cage uh, in. Okay. Anchor the feet. Yes. We want to be controlled on the foam roller. We're okay. going to start. So this is your five-minute little routine is arms. All right. Shoulder stabilization. Take your arms to goal post. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to windshield down and up. Like with both of them? both of them. Oh, at the so same time? So you stay steady okay. on the foam roller. Oh, so you have to schedule. Okay. Yes. Yes, you have to balance. Oh, okay. Here's your obliques. If, oh. If someone is falling off, we know that their obliques are a little weak. Hi. <laughs> so down and up. Okay. Beautiful. Then let's go swimmer. One arm long, one down. So I tell, um, I tell everyone, I'm kind of out of, see, I'm so tall. <laughs> I love it. I'll come down to you. Um, I tell everybody they need a foam roller at home. So, this is great. I mean, I can feel my core. Sure. Absolutely. As I roll from side to side. <laughs> so then another one, goal post your arms, go back towards the top of the mat, and then elbows to the hips. Ah. Kind of like a shoulder raise. Fabulous and then come down. We do that against the wall for PT. Oh. Yep, two more. Up and down, okay? Yeah. So that is, if you wanna lay on the spine, your spine is achy, we want to realign our spine, uh. we lay on the spine. You can also circle the arms up and over, holding on, core is engaged, rib cage is in. You have to remember quite a bit, but it's like when a you get game. used to it, your body goes naturally into that. I'm not used to it yet, so, so you know. Keep going. She can't talk and work out at the same time. But or chew gum and walk. <laughs> she can't. She'll get it. Then go the, <laughs> then go the opposite way. I pulled way. a muscle. I'm just kidding. Go the other way. You, you did not. <laughs> and then do the opposite way. <laughs> what a jokester. If you don't have a foam roller at home, you can still do these exercises because it's great for your upper flabby arms. <laughs> okay, so that is, if you have five minutes, we're going to lay on the foam roller and we're going to make our spine feel good. Our shoulders melt down on each uh, side of the foam roller. It's yummy. Yeah, yummy. It, it feels good when you relax. Huh? Five minutes. So now here comes my party. Take you the forearms and put them on the mat. Okay. Squeeze your shoulder blades back behind us. Yes. Okay. Take your right knee up to tabletop. Here like comes, that? Yep. Oh, sure. Oh, Skinny your, is not mean in shape, people, just so you know. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. I'm not in shape. And then take the other leg up. Oh, sure. Yep. Okay. Legs together. Here's our prancing. Prance like a deer. Down <laughs> and down. And stay on down, the roller? Yes. Down and down. Not fast. So oh. in Pilates, well, we do, don't do, go do, fast. Do, do, do. Everybody thinks it's very boring. And we don't do anything in Pilates. Please. 
but it's very oh. hard. It's very core oriented. <laughs> yeah, my core is definitely it's feeling working. This. Okay, it's legs. It's amazing and, these simple little things make you feel it. Legs and tabletop. Here's my skier. Tiny little skier, side Aww, side. Cute. Okay. Obliques, <laughs> QLs it's are hard. working. <laughs> Wait, so hold on. Okay. So now we know what Liz needs to do on a regular basis. My stomach. She needs to get on the foam roller and do my and work her core. Yeah, because I. I ugh. Can I stop? <laughs> you can put your feet down. <laughs> the one thing I've learned about the core, if you have any back issues, if you do keep your core strength in, tact, you don't, your back issues, they don't go away miraculously, but they really do help. Right, because the it frontal helps. part, it's strengthening. our abs are our stabilizer for our back. Oh, ah, makes I love sense. that. So when people say, oh, I have the worst back, I'm like, okay, let's test your core. Yeah. Right? I know. Okay, single leg kicks. It's like bicycle. Okay. We're just not rotating on the hip. All so right. you're going to alternate. One, and breathe. Two, and breathe. And three, and breathe. This is not and that bad. Four, and breathe. Now pick your head up and continue the legs. Okay. Oh. Pick up the head. <laughs> Don't scrunch your shoulders, though. Keep Where's your my face shoulders like down. Yep, chin to the chest. Okay, I lied. It's not that hard. I mean, not it that It is, easy. because now we're activating oh. the rib cage. Oh right, Liz? Yeah, I totally. I feel it right here. Yeah. Like 100%. And I also feel it in my lower part of my belly. Now, put your head down. Huh. Take, your legs to ta take your legs to 90 degrees. Straighten those legs. Flutter kick like if you were in the ocean. Flutter kick, flutter kick, flutter kick. Flutter kick. Flutter kick. I feel so flattered. <laughs> And then big scissor. Oh, God. There oh. you go. Hello, you know, everybody. You're, you're complaining oh. a lot for such a little girl. Oh. A small <laughs> little woman. <laughs> Holy We got to get strong. I am not I strong, and I need you, to be. I guarantee you she's now going to come and see me. Oh, yes. heck yeah. I, 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 so I, I want to see you after your yoga class. I teach uh, three MAC classes in the whole Vale Valley. I take privates every Thursday. I sublease a sweet little studio with reformers oh, in do? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I teach nice. yoga. Feet come down. <laughs> yeah. I'm like dead weight right now. You can find me, ElizabethSullivanWellness.com. Please look her up. She's amazing. I also have Pilates cycling retreats in Italy every September. What? Yeah. Who wants to go on a retreat with me to, to Italy? Then I have an all-women's yoga Pilates retreat in Mexico every January. <gasps> what? <gasps> oh, my God. I know. I need to know a lot more They're about very, this. very special. And retreats are amazing because you get to just bond with people, whether you know them or not. It's a bonding experience. It's a self-fulfilling experience. It's wonderful. And it's so good to treat yourself to something that's purely self -love. And now, the one in January where I co-teach with my best friend in mm -hmm. the whole world, she was my roommate in college. Uh, she lives in Minneapolis. That's an all-women's retreat. And oh, we, nice. we leave it that way. That's okay. Yes. Sometimes we need our we women need, bonding uh, yes. sessions. We need our girl time. I love it. Yeah. I'm going to just hang out on this roller. So I can keep going and going and going with you yeah. on the foam roller. I also do upper body weights uh, from the foam roller. Okay. I didn't bring any unless you have some here. Yeah, they're in my back pocket. I'll get right to it. Put your hands right here. And we would chest press. Oh, like if you had some little dummy yes. weights. Or just a dummy. Twos, threes, fives, eight pounders. Hoo-ha. Or just pump. Because I can still feel, you know, if you do enough, right. you can blow out the floor. <laughs> I People don't part. know what you're talking about. Yeah, they do. Oh. You know, when you wave and you're, oh, you stop your arm and your arm's still waving. Yes, yeah, the high, that. Helen. I love that. You mean Ugh. the bingo arm? Bingo, yeah. I call him. Uh, it's fun going walnuts. into our 60s, 70s, 80s. You know what? You can go in with a lot of dignity, as you can see. Yes. <laughs> I'm super dignified. But you know what? The truth is any kind of motion that you can give your body and a little self-love because we've been hard on ourselves our whole lives i know i have right we've been just running going doing and being now's the time to just take care of yourself be happy be right. fulfilled right and do a couple of things that make you feel really good well and that's why i tell everybody um that's why i tell everybody 
just lay on the foam roller once a day. Oh my God, I'll Even tell you what. Even if you're not doing the core, we're, yeah. we're gonna just lay on the foam roller once a day. Well, I wanna learn more about how to keep our mind at peace and everything else, and Elizabeth's all about that. So, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh more TV. Did you know that all Eagle County residents and visitors can get a free Eagle Valley Library District card? All you need is a photo ID. You get our online databases and resources, free music, free streaming, all from wherever you have internet access. Free audiobooks and e-audiobooks straight to your phone. Go into your Eagle Valley Library District branch today and get your library card. Familia, estamos muy emocionados de por fin presentarles nuestro nuevo programa completamente en español, Conexión Latina, que se estrena este lunes 21 de agosto a partir de las 7 de la tarde. Por el momento, el programa se transmitirá los lunes, miércoles y viernes de 7 a 7 y media de la tarde, con una repetición de 7 y media a 8, así que no hay excusas para perdértelo. Te recuerdo que puedes sintonizar nuestra programación a través del canal 92 de Comcast, nuestra página web tvadel.com y nuestra página de Facebook TV8 Conexión Latina. Acompáñanos en esta nueva aventura llena de información y entretenimiento local. No te lo pierdas. Well, Archer and I are going to get headed on further down the trail, but I hope you'll catch up with us a little bit later. Hi. I'm Ben Roof and I'm one of the new hosts here at TV8. I'm so excited to share all of my explorations throughout the Vale Valley with my dog Archer, where we'll be taking you to hiking trails, biking trails, maybe we'll go rafting, fishing, or whatever else we can come up with. I'm so excited to share all of that with you in my new segment, Outdoor Adventures. Don't forget to catch up with us every day right here at TV8 Vale or at TV8Vale.com because there's always more for you on 92. Do you have an interesting hobby or skill you like to share for Vale Valley? We want to hear from you. We're looking for people to share their musical, artistic, culinary, woodworking, athletic, or technical talents on Good Morning Vale. If you'd like to share your talents with the community, email danielle at tvavale.com. Join the community conversation. There's more for you on 92. Experience the beauty of fall on the rails of the Leadville Railroad. Take in the cool mountain breeze as you climb to 11,000 feet to watch the vibrant reds, oranges, and golds of fall come alive. Enjoy delicious hot beverages, learn some history, and relax with family and friends. Even your pets can enjoy a ride on the train. Offering daily trips, the weekend specials sell out fast. To secure your seat, book today at LeadvilleRailroad.com. Back to Good Morning Vale on TV8. I'm your host, Liz. This is Elizabeth Sullivan next to me. We did a little bit of foam rolling Pilates for a little bit of body exercise. But some of my most, oh, I love this. Oops. How about this one? 
Isn't that amazing? These are singing bowls, and what are these called? Chimes. Chimes. Singing bowls and chimes are two little things that you can literally get online if you want, but there's something magical about the noise. I have been to a few sessions where they, they do Reiki, and then they'll do like some chakra work, and then they do these sounds, and there's something superbly peaceful about it. Right. And so it's a magical feeling. What is the exact... I only think it sounds cool, but tell us about these items and why they are so pivotal in our world. Because sound grounds. Ah, ah. new bumper sticker, everybody. <laughs> so Liz was talking earlier about we did a show together with Vail Valley Theater Company, and actors are very dramatic. No way! They have so much drama. And finally, I was like, okay, that's it. I'm going to teach a yoga class. Anybody that wants to come can come. And then I also taught them every, uh, right before every show, we did three to five minutes of breathing. Literally, in three to five breaths of breathing, Amazing. you can calm your nervous system. So we run on high, 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 like, my kids go, I have a different gear. <laughs> uh. And I have seven gears in my car. Nice. <laughs> so, so does that mean I run on eight and nine? She's a semi. <laughs> a semi. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> well. But, but, so, so life is stressful. Life is so stressful. Even driving on I-70 from Eagle to Edwards is stressful. So yeah, I mean, life how builds can work. we, how can we calm our nervous system once a day, just like laying on the foam roller mm -hmm. for five minutes, how can we sit with ourselves either in the morning or at night and calm our breath and relax? And this reset is, our nervous system. I have the goosebumps every time I talk to you about stuff like this because I'm a high wired person. Shocker. Try and contain it, everybody. I know. But there's nothing better than to just, you know, I'm either wide awake or I pass out. So I don't like that. I like to come down and have a nice, enjoyable, peaceful experience. So these things are remarkable, and the breathing is so important. Right. So let's do that. All right. So that your viewers know, wow, for three to five breaths, That's I can calm myself down before the... Going to bed in the monkey mind, busy brain is That's going, right. going, going, going. How? Yes, counting sheeps. Remember those days? Yeah, but they used to turn into pork chops, then I'd be hungry. There you go. <laughs> so we're going, I saw, let's do three to five breaths. All right. Okay. Ready, everybody? And, and, and I if, can... whether you're lying down or sitting in a chair or sitting cross-legged like we are today, yeah. it doesn't matter. Just close your eyes. So what matters is a straight spine, and we're going to take a big, big breath in through our nose and exhale through our mouth. And it should be that audible sound. Do that again. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. You know what it does? It balances. It's a very weird experience. I have high anxiety. I do. And I was always told the alternative nostril breathing helps with anxiety when you're having like a, you're in the throes. And it does. But you don't have to know that. You have to literally, those three breaths, I don't know what they do to your cranial situation, <laughs> but it seems to switch up. And it's almost like a dopamine boost. Well, I don't know how to explain it, but it I really does. In, but it would take me hours. All it's right, well, we serotonin. Only have a time. It's serotonin. serotonin, not dopamine, right? So, by that breath, we we are releasing certain chemicals. Yeah. Why do you think they say everybody should meditate every single day, right? Why are uh, uh, the Hindu monks, why are they so peaceful? Mm, I why? wish I knew. So, <laughs> this is something that the Western world is getting into yes. and has started to get into, but we need to remind ourselves to do it more often. Absolutely. Because everybody is so stressed and anxiety, panic attacks, depression. I mean, and it's always been this way, but it's really 
something that we can talk about now in this day and age and people don't have a stigma attached to them. We can actually discuss how we have a little anxious moments right. or we have a little stress or struggles right. because it's not taboo anymore to talk about the things because mental health is just as important as any kind of physical health that we go through. It's right. still physical. It, it affects our physicality. It affects our mind. It affects our behavior. And it affects our well-being and just our day-to-day -day world. And the one right. thing I have learned also that I've learned this from you, if you don't like meditation, you have no idea what meditation is. You can take a song. And if you just sit quietly and you sit there and listen to the song and just get all the work, right. you're meditating. Right. The breathing, you're concentrating on just that breath solely. You're literally having a meditative experience. Right. So you don't have to think, oh, I mean, I'm the pregnant person. I'll have an anxiety attack during the exercise where you're like, okay, go to your thighs. I'm on my at the thighs. I want to get to the chair. So, you know, not everybody can sit there and go through your body where that there are so many ways to meditate. Right, and so it so could be three minutes or yeah. it could be three hours. Right. It's just all the in between. Right. And when people, really, the word yoga, it doesn't mean the asana, all the asana. Right. Really, yoga means the prana, the breath, the asana, the movement, and the meditation. Mm -hmm. There is yoga where, okay, we're doing yoga now because we're sitting cross-legged and we're breathing. Right. Okay. And it's a state of mind, state of being, and right. that's how we also end up really just experiencing a more exciting life when we have a little small time to practice anything that we experience that makes us feel really good. The rest is gravy. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Absolutely. It's weird. It's weird. I'm going to give a little plug to my organization called Heads Up for Hope. Oh, it's our brain geez. injury support group in the county, and I started it with four other people five years ago. Well, I am certified in Love Your Brain Yoga, Aww. which is for specifically for brain injured people. So see, they use it because they have issues Connecting concentrating with, right. and cognitive issues. So it, 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 meditation, yoga, all of this is good for anybody. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't. It really doesn't. And I mean, as we age, we were going to talk about this. All right, we're going to do it. <laughs> like even my mother does chair yoga. Okay, that's beautiful. She's 90. 90, yeah. That's fabulous. Just sit in a chair, breathe, <sighs> and relax. So it is so important. So right. important. I can't even thank you enough for doing this with me. Should we play the yeah, chimes going do, out? I think we should go out of this segment with some beautiful sounds. Close your eyes. Enjoy the sound. Listen. Breathe deep. With In through your nose. In through your nose. If you want to exhale through your mouth, go ahead. Yeah. As long as the breathing is consistent, because I've noticed... When I'm doing certain exercises, I, I hold my breath so I can keep myself still. But you don't have to do that. If you breathe, your body grounds a little bit more. We go into a Ujjaya breath. In through the nose, out through the nose. Yeah, I like that too. I will always like that. It's called Ujjaya? Ujjaya. Oh, Ujjaya. You got to try a Ujjaya. She's something. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's do more beautiful noise. I'll I'd be love back it. next week. You <laughs> please, please. Come on. I mean, she does all of these great exercise things so we can just continue to learn with Elizabeth Sullivan at ElizabethSullivanWellness.com. There you go. Yep. All right, everybody. Okay. As we go out, enjoy the sounds. Nap Harvest, your local marketplace for fresh, locally produced products. Our indoor farmer's market is open seven days a week, featuring locally grown organic produce, prepared meals, honey from our nap nectar hive, furniture, cutting boards, and much more. We source and sell locally grown and produced products from the Vale and Roaring Fork Valleys. Visit us at our new location in Eagle Ranch, 717 Sylvan Lake Road, next door to Color Coffee Roasters. Do you have an interesting hobby or skill you'd like to share for Vale Valley? We want to hear from you. We're looking for people to share their musical, artistic, culinary, woodworking, athletic, or technical talents on Good Morning Vale. 
If you'd like to share your talents with the community, email danielle at tvavail.com. Join the community conversation. There's more for you on 92. Experience the beauty of fall on the rails of the Leadville Railroad. Take in the cool mountain breeze as you climb to 11,000 feet to watch the vibrant reds, oranges, and golds of fall come alive. Enjoy delicious hot beverages, learn some history, and relax with family and friends. Even your pets can enjoy a ride on the train. Offering daily trips, the weekend specials sell out fast. To secure your seat, book today at LeadvilleRailroad.com. When you're in Vail, you're in vacation mode, and you need a flexible home tour experience that fits into your schedule. We transformed how you view and buy homes in the Vail Valley. With immersive, cutting-edge technology, you can explore properties 10 times faster. In our lounge, we guide you through this digital world on a 16-foot screen where you can imagine your next home in comparison to your favorite recreational spots. Say goodbye to multi-day home tours and hello to a quick stop between your other plans. That's the power of the immersion theater. For fun and adventure, join me on Elizabeth Stanton's Great Big World. Find out where I'll be going next and which celebrities I'll be bringing along with me. I'll show you amazing destinations with lots to explore, and you'll get to know my celebrity guests the way they really are, up close and personal. We'll travel the world, experience new cultures, and together, try to make a difference. I'm Elizabeth Stanton, saying the world's a big place, and I'm going to show it to you. Welcome back to your Sunday edition of Good Morning Vale on TV8. I'm your host, Liz. Well, we did some great singing bowls and beautiful sound therapy. We had a wonderful workout on the foam roller with Elizabeth Sullivan. It's a Pilates day, but I also want to show a clip that we did with Nevada Lee. It's a yoga workout. That kicked my butt as well as what Elizabeth did today. So it's a full-on workout experience with you guys right here on Sunday. It's Good Morning Vale. Welcome back to your Sunday edition of Good Morning Vale. I'm your host, TV8, and yeah, I'm pretty comfortable because we are going to do something new here at TV8. We're going to get you in shape on Sunday mornings, and we're going to kick it all off with yoga with Nevada Lee. Hi. Hey, welcome. Grateful to be here. I am so happy to have you here. I think you are amazing. What Nevada does is not only is he a local DJ that can play for your parties, but you do so many teachings of yoga. You've been doing this for several years, and you also teach over at Effect School of Rock, the kids, so you get them through some yoga practicing. But what I want to do is, for anybody who's watching right now that maybe has never tried yoga, or maybe has put their toe in the water, per se, I want to explain by you the benefits of yoga and why we should all at least practice some form of it each day of our lives. Well, for me personally, uh, my yoga experience started seven years ago. Uh, I found myself in a place, you know, we're in an environment where we work hard, we play hard, we get hurt, we have injuries, we sit at desks all day long, uh, and we kind of find ourselves out of balance. We find ourselves sitting in the car getting stressed out, you know, remembering not to breathe. and. I found myself at a point in life where I wasn't centered in my body, I wasn't centered in my mind, you know, and that ultimately led to me not being centered in my soul. So I uh. kind of felt lost, my body was in pain, you know, and life just wasn't flowing as easily as I thought it should be. Um, and then seven years ago, you know, kind of when I was at one of the lowest points in my life, you know, with everything, uh, I was blessed to find somebody that got me into yoga for the first time. Mm. Um, my first yoga practice was extremely scary. You know, I didn't know what I was getting into. I didn't know if it was right for me. You know, I'd seen people practice it before. Uh, but it was something that, you know, I just needed to take that leap to see what it was. And that was one of the best things I've ever done for myself in my entire life. Well, number one, 
I am so grateful that you just said what you said because a lot of us go through things. I've been in my own dark places. You're not alone. We all go through so many struggles. And I did learn a long time ago that yoga, if you practice it regularly, you kind of have this air of peace around you. And even when things are chaotic, it's, easy, it's more easily controlled. The very first time I did yoga, this is so crazy, I was in Florida and I never did yoga and I was going through turmoil and just maniacal life, like insane, a lot of self loathing things going on and I realized that I wasn't working through stuff and a friend of mine introduced me to yoga I went and sat in the back of the class because I thought it was gonna be bad and this is the weirdest part when the yoga was done and we were what's the thing when you're laying out at the end Shavasana Shavasana <clears throat> I started crying like sobbing and I it didn't come to me like I wasn't thinking of anything I'm just weeping and sobbing, and my friend who is the instructor came over later, I'm like, why can't I stop crying? She goes, you've obviously released the stuff. And what it does is, it, I mean, I am living proof, so is Nevada Lee, that you can really, really work through life when you have something special that you can practice. It's self-love, it's fulfilling for your soul, your mind, your body, and so many other things. So that's why I wanted to bring you here for our very first segment of exercising on Sundays because I think this is something not only for your body, but for everything involved. And it's so awesome when you get through an entire practice and you get to Shavasana, which is also called corpse pose. So uh -huh. at the end of your practice, you know, you end in corpse pose. The beginning of most yoga practices start in child's pose. So you're kind of going through a, f a birth oh. all the way through a progression of your life and your body stages. So by the time you get to Shavasana, you lie down, you're a corpse pose, and then essentially your body is reborn again. And so with all the goodness that you have just experienced, you've absorbed it, you've stretched your muscles, you've stretched your hips, um, that releases a lot of energy, a lot of built up tension. Yes. You know, and once you, yoga essentially means to unite or to connect with breath. Oh, so I love that. So it means to connect first your mind. You know, your mind wanders and races all the time. You'll be driving down. You'll, when was the last time you actually remembered to breathe? And most people don't even remember to breathe. You breathe automatically. You that's know, most true. of your organs in your body, they work whether you like it or not. They're going to keep doing that. Absolutely. That's what makes breath most important is because you absolutely have full control over that autonomous system in your body. So once you learn to unite your breath to your body, to your mind, that transfers over into overall well-being that essentially with the practices helps your soul. I think so. that's so profound and it really is true. I can't say enough about this practice. It, there's just something freeing. And what I've noticed is because I have, I have a little anxious personality, if nobody's figured that out yet. <laughs> and with the breathing, when you do have anxietous moments, if you take a moment to practice your breathing that you've learned through yoga or anything, it's almost a form of meditation because you're only focusing on that one thing and all of a sudden, all the angst is gone because you're working through things and you're concentrating on something else for yourself. Mm -hmm. This is a purely self-indulgent, loving thing that you can do for yourself. So I'm really excited. I, why don't we start off? Well, before that, how do people reach you? Because you can get a private yoga lesson from Nevada Lee or a group lesson. So how do they reach you? Uh, you can reach me on Instagram or on Facebook, uh, Nevada Lee Furrow. Uh, just go there, friend me, send me a private message. That's the easiest way to yeah. get a hold of me. Um, you're more than welcome to call the studio. They can give you my number directly. Which studio? This TV8 studio that Aha! we're sitting in here right <laughs> I now. I thought it was like a yoga studio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can talk about the yoga studios as well a little bit later yeah. here. But uh, those are the best ways to reach me. I do private lessons. I do group lessons. I've taught everybody from children aged four to five years old, um, you know, through all different people, all different body types. Yoga is for everybody. It really is. You don't have to think, oh, I need to be a certain size to do this. You can be any human being. And that's what I love about it. It embraces everybody because we're not all built the same. You know, I mean, I might look skinny. It doesn't mean I'm in shape. Nope. This is why I'm starting this. It's all for me, everybody. No, the truth is it's for everybody. I really want to bring this to light and let everybody get an idea. We're going to learn how to breathe a little bit. We're going to learn a couple of stretches, and then you're going to show us some poses throughout the show. That's uh, exactly think? true. So what do you do at the very beginning? Do you breathe first or stretch first? Uh, it all starts with your breath. All right, so let's yoga do some breathing. means to unite with breath. 
And the typical breathing in yoga would be a four-sided breath. How's that? Where you take a nice long inhale and try to make it last four seconds, five seconds. Everybody's lungs are different. So take a nice inhaling breath and inhale as much oxygen as you possibly can. And then try to hold it for the same period of time. And then slowly exhale. Mouth or nose? It's a, it doesn't I'm really matter to start with, you know, when we get into the breathing. Just focus on the four-sided breath. Okay, so really it doesn't matter how you do it as long as you do it. There, so are, there are proper ways to do it, and there are breathing techniques as you get more deeper yeah. into yoga. I know there's meditation. a diaphragmatal method that when you breathe in, you almost want to puff your belly out. You want to get all that air in, right? Mm -hmm. And they're different. They're short kind of breaths. There's oh. hummingbird breath. You know, there's bees breath. Um, of course All there sorts are. of them. I I'm did not, not know that. Well, let's do your basic... All the, Human breath. But the basic is a four-sided breath. And okay. Once you start concentrating on that breath, things around you are going to start to drop away. You know, the annoyances from over here, the thoughts of your daily life, you're just starting to focus on your breath. And then when you let all the breath out of your body, when your body is completely absence of breath, the only thing your body now starts to focus on is taking that next breath. So when you're you know, suffocating, there's yeah. only one thing that you're physically present with is that moment that next breath so that takes you right back to it and it keeps you present and take a few different rounds of that breath and after you know 30 seconds a minute you know 90 seconds of doing this your body will start to relax don't hold your breath for 90 seconds unless heck you no it. unless you want to <laughs> fall over but yeah I, I actually feel my body relaxing a little bit more as i do this breathing it just kind of puts you in a nice space and so that's what you say as we start to integrate our breath into our body. Okay. And then next is going to be to start to awaken the body, mm -hmm. you know, with do. some simple, easy yin yoga that I do every morning. Um, what I would like to focus on, because in my personal experience, I have dislocated shoulder, I have broken both of my ankles, you know, knee problems from snowboarding for so long. Yeah. And your out of posture alignment starts to lead to other pains. Like a lot of people have lower sciatic pain and they don't know where it came from. You know, a lot of people have that pain right between their shoulder blades, oh. you know, which leads you to favoring your shoulder, yeah. which leads you to kinking your neck in, which stiffens up all these muscles yep. and don't allow them to flex and bend properly. Yep. So then what you get into is you're walking around in your day-to-day -day life and you don't have proper posture. And proper posture and posture of proper alignment and trying to focus on that day-to-day -day will help you, you know, get out of those tendencies to hunch over, to slouch sure. over, to favor, and it'll make your body feel better overall. It'll and help you sleep better yeah, at night. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, that is very important. You know, the rest is just as important, you know, as the physicalness of your day. Nice. So, um, right. first thing I'd like, I want to show is if you stand up. Okay, we're going to stand up. <clears throat> we're going to take a break in a second, but let's kick off a stretch. Well, I just want to show people okay. kind of, so with proper posture, it's kind of weird, and it feels really weird within your body, but... Have a friend of you uh, take a picture of a side profile of you. Okay. And then just stand there like naturally how you do. You know, a lot of people have hunched over shoulders. You know, a lot of people, everybody's walking around on their phone all day, so they're walking with yeah. their head down. So that's kind of how people's natural postures are starting okay. to go. And that is not natural. So Not natural, everybody. I not cannot natural. wait to get more into this. We have to take a small break. Okay. But then we're going to be back with more yoga habilitation. I just made that word up. <laughs> we're going to rehabilitate with yoga with the battle league. We'll be right back with Thank more you, Good Liz. Morning Vale on TV8. Good morning, Vale. Join us in exploring the everyday lives of community members here in the Vale Valley. Hear their inspiring stories of how they came here, their contributions to our community, and why they chose to call this place home. We want you to be one of our neighbors. If you would like to be featured or nominate someone to be featured, please send an email to danielle at tv8vale.com. We look forward to featuring your story right here on TV8. Welcome to Street Magic. I'm Elizabeth Stanton with some of the most terrifying stunts, extraordinary extreme escapes, and the most amazing cutting edge magicians you'll ever see in one show. Get ready to have your mind turned inside out. The hand is definitely quicker than the eye. It's fake. <laughs>
Welcome to the TV8 Visitors Bureau, getting you in the know before you go. We're up here in the beautiful Beaver Creek, and if you are looking for activities to do, well, they've got an app that can guide you through everything you need. So you just have to download the Beaver Creek Village Guide, and it'll get you everything from restaurants and shopping to when activities and events are taking place. There are so many great activities always happening up here at the Beaver Creek Resort, and one of them is the Villar Performing Arts Center. This is a great venue for you to go and enjoy so many incredible shows. It's going to be super easy to buy your tickets using the app and we're going to show you how to get there. Once you buy your tickets to go enjoy the Villar Performing Arts Center, this is how you're going to get there from the covered bridge here in Beaver Creek all the way over there. Let's go. Once you make your way down to the Villar Performing Arts Center, you get to go inside and enjoy their 535 seat intimate venue where they do so many great shows. So make sure that you check it out and use the app to plan your entire trip up here in Beaver Creek. That's going to do it for this edition of the TV8 Visitors Bureau. We'll see you soon. Did you know that all Eagle County residents and visitors can get a free Eagle Valley Library District card? All you need is a photo ID. You get our online databases and resources, free music, free streaming, all from wherever you have internet access. Free audiobooks and e-audiobooks straight to your phone. Go into your Eagle Valley Library District branch today and get your library card. Eight-time Emmy-nominated Animal Rescue is a half-hour television series showcasing the heroic efforts of people helping animals. Join host and award-winning journalist Alex Payne and the Animal Rescue camera crew as they travel around the world, capturing dramatic rescues, rehabilitation, and relocation stories. For programming schedule, check your local listings today. Don't miss your favorite episodes of Animal Rescue. When people think of world-class destinations, they're drawn to a place that provides opportunities for fine dining, shopping, superior lodging, exciting events, and unparalleled outdoor activities. Park City, Utah and Vail, Colorado are renowned destinations for travelers and extraordinary homes for residents. Feature your exceptional products and services in these two luxury communities. Advertise with Park City Television and TV8 Vail. Contact us today. Do you have an interesting hobby or skill you'd like to share for Vail Valley? We want to hear from you. We're looking for people to share their musical, artistic, culinary, woodworking, athletic, or technical talents on Good Morning Vail. If you'd like to share your talents with the community, email danielle at tvavail.com. Join the community conversation. There's more for you on 92. Do you love the outdoor lifestyle? Make sure you tune in every day at 8 p.m. to catch Scoreboard Nation. It's an outdoor lifestyle show dedicated to your three favorite mountain towns, Vail Beaver Creek, Park City, and Reno Tahoe. Join us for an incredible venture. Find us on TV8 Vail, Park City Television, or at thescoredboardnation.com. We can't wait to see you there. You're watching K34QB, Vail, Colorado. Welcome back to the second hour of Good Morning Vale on TV8. I'm your host, Liz. We just had an incredible workout with Elizabeth Sullivan. You want to get involved in getting in shape and taking care of your mind, your body, and your entire spirit. That's the way to go. Now, this hour, we're going to recap in the Vatalia a little yoga. So we got Pilates and yoga all in the same day. Sit back and relax. Your second hour of Good Morning Vale starts right now.
I love letting everybody know what's going on. I'm Liz for Good Morning Vale. If you have a pen, you can write this down, or if you're really good at memorizing, we have some dates to give you to go and do some exciting things. This Wednesday, I don't think you need a pen for Wednesday because it's just right around the corner. But Avon Live, and this is going to be an incredible show with Spafford and the 10th Mountain Division. We all know the history of the 10th Mountain Division. What a great musical instrument that these guys are. They're their own instrument because they sing, they play, and it's just a magical experience. So you want to get on out there to Avon Live. It usually kicks off right around 5.30, and Avon Live is the big one on the big stage where they have the Hanawald Bar and all the food trucks and all the great experiences. So get out there, enjoy the music, the fun, your friends, and of course, the wonderful sunset after the big event. So that's what's going to take place. And then, of course, the next hot summer nights is going to take place over at the Gerald Ford Amphitheater. That's going to be fruition on the 29th of this month, just around the corner. And of course, there's a full long experience over at the Villar Performing Arts Center, one of our more beautiful indoor venues here. Well, they have the underground sound that has finally kicked off. That's seven shows seven drinks for a really great price. I'm telling you, the price is basically for one night out, but you're getting seven different experiences over at the Vlar Performing Arts Center. If you want to get tickets for the underground sound, you want to go check them out. That's such a great experience. So it's at the VilarPAC.org is the website. Go check it out today and get excited about all the great events. We have so much more going on, so stick around. Good Morning Van will be right back. Did you know that all Eagle County residents and visitors can get a free Eagle Valley Library District card? All you need is a photo ID. You get our online databases and resources, free music, free streaming, all from wherever you have internet access. Free audiobooks and e-audiobooks straight to your phone. Go into your Eagle Valley Library District branch today and get your library card. When you're in Vail, you're in vacation mode, and you need a flexible home tour experience that fits into your schedule. We transformed how you view and buy homes in the Vail Valley. With immersive, cutting-edge technology, you can explore properties 10 times faster. In our lounge, we guide you through this digital world on a 16-foot screen where you can imagine your next home in comparison to your favorite recreational spots. Say goodbye to multi-day home tours and hello to a quick stop between your other plans. That's the power of the immersion theater. Recently, I sat down with two local experts around integrative medicine, Dr. Leslie Yetter and Josh Lautenberg. And Josh, who is with Angles and Vocals, as many of you know. And we had a wonderful discussion about how to find wellness in the Valley. So please stay tuned for the Good Day Vale episode today to help you thrive in the mountains by finding wellness and integrating functional medicine into your daily life. Welcome back to Good Morning Vale on TV8. I'm your host, Liz. Here with Nevada League, we are getting in shape for your Sunday morning with yoga. We did some breathing exercises, and now we're going to do some stretching. So what is the first thing that you like to do? Uh, the first thing I like to do is just focus on posture in your everyday life. So right. when we were standing here... We were standing there showing our side. Yeah, and so a lot of times people are hunched over. People have shoulder injuries right. so that one shoulder is higher than the other. If you go to a hips. chiropractor, hips are out of alignment. They're too far back. You know, it's kind of that duck book. Yeah. Kind of it's thing. all of that with me. So, yeah. So, have somebody take a picture of you, see where your alignment's at. And we prop your alignment is you're going to want to have your ears over your shoulders, over your hips, over your ankles. Good to know. So, what you want to do is focus on pulling your shoulder blades back towards your spine. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of doing that. Stick them out. Bringing your head up, looking people straight forward in the eyes and kind of bringing it back. Slight bend in the knees so your shoulders are over your hips and are over your ankles. And gotcha. that's called joint stacking. And it kind of feels, it reminds me of Planet of the Apes where you see them walking around, head yeah. up, chest out, back. That is okay. kind of the proper posture. And it feels kind of weird, but... It does a little you, bit, but... Once you start practicing that, opening your shoulders, 
you'll find it'll start in your day-to-day -day life, um, easing some of that tension, that pain, that mm -hmm. inflammation that you feel. So that's a good way just to carry out Perfect. yoga. And then to remember to breathe throughout the day. Yeah, you that's know? important. If you, if you can't remember the last time you took a breath, it's probably a good time to sit down right. and do a, a cycle nice of four breaths one. to help recenter yourself. Right, okay. So, so the posture stretching is one of the most important things in your day-to-day -day life. Okay. Uh, on the I, mat. <clears throat> when I wake up in the morning, you know, depending on how I've slept, you know, people sleep and do work yeah. positions, that just adds to the imbalances, the inflammation That's in the body. That's correct. So I wake up in the morning, I'm tight in my neck, I'm tight in my shoulder, I'm tight in my lower back. So the first thing you do, since you're already down there laying in bed, you're essentially in Shavasana. You're in your corpse pose. You know, you're about ready to wake up and get ready to start a new day, to start a new life. Yes. So sit here, take a few deep breaths, and just get your body going. And then usually what I'll do is I'll bring my knees up into my chest, give them a nice big squeeze. This is essentially child's pose on right. your back. Right, okay, so child's pose. if you have knee issues or anything like that or severe back issues, this is the easiest way to modify uh, to make it easier on your body. And nice. As you do this, you can start to spread your legs out as well, too. You can put your hands on your nice knees. Nice camera angle, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is a good way just to start opening your hips and start awakening the body. Man. And then usually what I'll do is I'll set my feet on the ground. Okay. And we'll just do slight knees to one side. And that'll start getting into Ooh, your sciatic I right down here. I feel that in my hip. And all you have to do is let gravity do the work and let your legs melt And then they the naturally ground. fall. You don't want to have any contractions in your muscles. It's just relaxed. And you don't want to force it. No forcing whatsoever. In these poses, if you do find slight pain anywhere, you can use props like a block or a bolster, and you can lay that on it to just get the perfect angle that's for your body. Okay. And then after that, you want to switch to the other side because you always want to balance it out. Definitely. So we do that one. Ugh, God. I need you know. this. And then in yin yoga, you would sit here and you would hold this for anywhere from one to five minutes, depending on what your teacher is doing with the practice right. and how they want it to flow. Okay. And then the next, I'll pull this back in to stretch out that lower back. Okay. And then I'll drop my left leg down and I'll bring the right knee across my body. This is called a supine twist. Whoa. Or oh, twisted I just popped. roots. I popped as well. And uh, this is allowed to get a little bit deeper into that sciatic and a little bit more stretch on your IT yeah, band Yeah, I'll tell you what, so many people have the sciatica. This is an amazing stretch. So these are just the easiest ones to do right as you get up in the morning. Okay. Remember to breathe, bring your knees back into your chest, extend that right leg out, and then another <laughs> supine twist over to this side. Uh. And so as we hold these poses, we get out of our muscles, and we get into our tendons, our ligaments, right. and, and the fascia, the tissue that surrounds all your muscles that keeps them contracted and tight. Yes. And we want our muscles to be loose. We want it to be like a rubber band and, almost. And squishy. Yeah. So this is the best way to start. And you don't bounce ever, you just kind of hold it, right? Nope. You just sit there and you relax and, as you, and you breathe. And as you breathe and expand through your lungs, that expands your cavities and it allows you to stretch slightly deeper in yeah. your tendons and your ligaments. I just noticed that when I take a breath, I'm going to let it out, my leg can go down even more. Mm -hmm. And it'll start stretching out all the rest of the ligaments in your body. Nice. So then we bring your knees back into your chest. I kind of roll around on my back and just loosen up that area a little bit more. Okay. <clears throat> And then, you know, get one last full body stretch before you're ready to get out of bed. Okay. <clears throat> oh, my God. Ugh, I'm ready for bed. And then the first <laughs> pose I start with every single morning are extended mountain poses into a ragdoll. And ragdoll is one of the only yin poses that's a standing pose. Okay, now, what, ragdoll sounds like you just flop. It's flopping. I so knew it. Right. I'll do an extended mountain pose. I'm going to watch you first. You'll take a breath as you breathe in. You want your feet hip width distance apart. You want your shoulders over your hips, shoulder blades back. And then just take a couple of nice deep breaths here. Mm. And then you're going to take a breath in. And as you exhale, you're connecting this movement with your breath. And you're going to fold completely over and limp into ragdoll. No, I so like you this. want your knees slightly bent. Your arms are going to dangle. Your head's going to dangle. And you're going to sit here and breathe a little bit.
You can feel that hole in the back of your legs. And, and then as you start to get into it a little bit more, you can sway side to side, which starts hitting different areas oh, of your ouch. sciatic and your lower back. I'm stiff. And you never want sharp pains. If you feel any sharp pains, you need to back off right. and modify and do what your body is calling for. Okay. So and then what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in and we're going to do a halfway lift. So you're going to press into your shins and you're going to work on elongating your spine oh. and taking the crown of your head towards the front wall. Well, that feels really good. So you can stay here for as many breaths as you would like, but then you're going to take a deep breath in and as you exhale, you're going to forward fold and just let your health dangle once more. And then you're going to breathe in, rise up for another extended mountain pose. And this one you might go back a little bit more and you want to keep your core slightly engaged here and just go for a slight back bend and then the posture here when you're standing up straight people have a tendency to stick their butt out and that's kind of how your back naturally goes we always do that so you want to tuck it in you want to pull the front of your pelvis forward and drop your tailbone oh lush okay there's a lot of just of intricate things you need yeah. to learn so if you focus so on your core and you're focused on your breathing now you're not focusing on anything else. You know, you're starting to get into yourself, into your mind, okay. into your body. The next one I like to do is that another one where you interlace your hands behind your back, mm -hmm. and then we're just gonna bow forward into another rag doll. And Ooh. let your arms hang heavy over your head. Wow. This one you can sway side to side to, bending your knees. You can straighten out your legs a little bit to get a stretch in your hamstring. <sighs> really stretches your shoulders and then too. just back and forth and do what feels good on your body and try to hit those areas where you start to feel the tightness back there oh i feel it <laughs> i feel it all right Ugh. and then i would do a few of those and then you start to loosen up your body and then i would go into you know our awakening series of yoga okay. so starting out in child's pose okay and we'll show you some modifications that you do with yin yoga as well. So if you want to take this bolster and put it in front of you like this for the child's pose. But essentially child's pose are your toes are together. Your knees come wide on the mat. You're going to sit back towards your heels. You're going to extend your arms forward, spread your fingers wide, and just rest your forehead on your mat. All right, we're going into child's pose, and then we'll be right back with more TVA after this. Nap Harvest, your local marketplace for fresh, locally produced products. Our indoor farmer's market is open seven days a week, featuring locally grown organic produce, prepared meals, honey from our nap nectar hive, furniture, cutting boards, and much more. We source and sell locally grown and produced products from the Vale and Roaring Fork Valleys. Visit us at our new location in Eagle Ranch, 717 Sylvan Lake Road, next door to Color Coffee Roasters. Familia, estamos muy emocionados de por fin presentarles nuestro nuevo programa completamente en español, Conexión Latina, que se estrena este lunes 21 de agosto a partir de las 7 de la tarde. Por el momento, el programa se transmitirá los lunes, miércoles y viernes de 7 a 7 y media de la tarde, con una repetición de 7 y media a 8, así que no hay excusas para perdértelo. Te recuerdo que puedes sintonizar nuestra programación a través del canal 92 de Comcast, nuestra página web tvadel.com y nuestra página de Facebook TVA Conexión Latina. Acompáñanos en esta nueva aventura llena de información y entretenimiento local. No te lo pierdas. And I'm Andrea Jackson. Welcome to Life Love Shopping. How many personal stories you can share? Do I? <laughs> yes, I so, do. so even though you work for some good deals, too good to miss on Flash Deals. Now check this out. Studies show spending time outdoors can help with depression, lowering blood pressure, and overall health and happiness. When you're in Vail, you're in vacation mode. 
and you need a flexible home tour experience that fits into your schedule. We transformed how you view and buy homes in the Vail Valley. With immersive, cutting-edge technology, you can explore properties 10 times faster. In our lounge, we guide you through this digital world on a 16-foot screen where you can imagine your next home in comparison to your favorite recreational spots. Say goodbye to multi-day home tours and hello to a quick stop between your other plans. That's the power of the immersion theater. Welcome back to Good Morning Vale on a Sunday morning in TV8. I'm your host, Liz, and next to me, he's not sleeping. He's in child's pose. This is Nevada Lee. We've been in the middle of doing some yoga exercises. We've learned how to breathe. We've learned a couple of morning stretches, and now we're going to go into some more experiences called stacking. So where are we at now, Nevada? Well, this was a modification on child's pose for those of you, including me, that have bad knees and can't stand the pressure. <laughs> So you can sit back with your knees together to take some of the pressure off. I like to use a bolster because you can just lay there and melt straight into it. I'm melting. So there are two main basic flows in yoga. They're the sun salutation A and the sun salutation B. Okay. Your salute to the sun, your awakening in the morning. Nice. You're getting ready for the day. It just makes you love life, I can tell right now. So, starting in child's pose, uh -huh. hands are going to extend out as far as you can. Fingers are spread as wide as possible. You're going to press up. And actually, we're going to do one more sequence before we get into the flow. So, the first thing I like to do is our cats and cows. I so, love this exercise. It's good for your um, organs, isn't it? So, for cow, you're going to let your stomach drop down. Stick your butt out. You're allowed to now, right? And then... You can do whatever breath you want as an in and out on this one, but connect your breath. So exhale and then press your spine towards the ceiling for cat. And then inhale and drop your stomach down towards your floor. And then it's important for joint stacking here is you want to stack your shoulders over your elbows, over your wrists. Oh, see, I wasn't doing proper so, form. Okay, so now so, I'm in proper form. It was mm -hmm. not before. And then also to modify on this one, you can also lean back and sway side to side into the back of your hips and take whatever other organic movement helps open that. you up. Oh. <clears throat> I teach a lot of uh, professional athletes one-on-one -on -one yoga, you know, football players, basketball players, yeah. and they're heavily focused on the yang portion, the okay. strength portion, yeah. you know, the effort. So they haven't done I a lot that. of building. And, and their chest and their shoulders are so big and they're so tight that that naturally pulls them forward nice. and out of posture. So the two best um, poses I have for big athletes and men especially are thread the needle. So you want to take your right arm up and then you'll bring it down. You'll thread the needle and you'll lay right down on into your shoulder. Oh. You can turn your head to the left. You can turn it to the right to get a little bit of a deeper stretch there. You can bend forward a little bit. Whatever your body and your shoulder can take, you just don't want any sharp pains anywhere. All I feel is a nice stretch. So then you would come back up onto all fours, tabletop pose. You're going to do it on the other side to balance it out. Left arm up, thread the needle. <sighs> hmm. I'll tell you what, this is then, so relaxing. And then when was the last time you remembered to breathe? Right now. <laughs> so take a nice deep breath in. You'll feel you get a little deeper in the stretch. Yep. And let it go. And then keep focusing on that breath. And then holding the pose will start to get easier and easier until you just fall away from your body. So we'll come back on the tabletop. And the chest openers you like to do, you'll come down right onto your stomach. Oh, and this goody. one's called Fallen Angel. <clears throat> so you can either extend your arms straight out to the side. For a lot of people, um, especially if you have any elbow issues, this puts a little too much pressure on it for okay. me. So what I'll do is I'll go pulse to my arm up like this. And then you'll press yourself. You'll roll over onto your right hip. And then you'll get that stretch through right, your shoulder. I'm doing my legs just so I can see you. Perfect. Am I doing it? Wait, where's your leg? So you, you, your leg can be wherever. You just kind of want to stick it back behind your other leg. Oh, this is good. And then you're going to want to extend your arm out to the side completely, or you want to goalpost it up. Okay. And then you'll feel... Ah, uh, 
gets you really deep through your chest, through your upper shoulders here. <laughs> and that feels amazing for me. So we'll do it on the other side. Right. Left arm comes out or your other arm. Roll over onto that hip. God. And then remember to breathe because that breathe will get you just a millimeter more into that stretch, get you into your tendons and your ligaments. And then usually what I like to do is complete it by flipping my arm over and putting it down and really rolling over because you can get a different stretch on a different part of your shoulder here. Okay. And have your arm out behind your back. That way? Nope, your other arm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Ah, there you go. And then we'll balance it out one more time on the other side. <clears throat> and those are the usual stretches I'll do to awaken my body, to start getting connected with my breath, yeah. to start getting ready for, you know, your flows, your vinyasas nice. and your practices. There's lots of different practices of yoga. There's hundreds of different poses, oh my gosh. thousands of different teachers, right. and they all have their own philosophies, their, you know, their own guided ways of guiding you through basically a guided meditation and a practice at the same time. Okay. So let's go back into child's pose, and we'll get ready to start our sun salutation A. So toes together, knees wide, extend your arms out long, place your forehead on your mat. You can rock side to side here. And then when you're ready, press down through your hands, come up onto your toes, and you're gonna press back in a downward facing dog. And I always tell people your first dog of the day, you gotta take it for a walk. So <laughs> here you can pedal out your feet, start to drop your heels down. Wow. I like to roll my ankles over and stretch those out. Both sides. Ouch. <laughs> you can press your hips to the right and to the left, but you wanna be pressing down through your hands, Letting your head drop between your shoulders. Dude, what do you do with your back? Is it straight or out? You're going to want to start pressing your tailbone up towards the sky okay. and dropping your head through your shoulders. And just start by doing what's comfortable for your body. Here, I also like to take my right leg up to the sky, and then you bend your knee and you just open your hip right here. Keeping oh, e yeah, boy. Keeping equal pressure in both of your hands so you're not dumping into your left shoulder. I and then, And then bring it back down and then kind of pedal out again, oh. bring the other leg up, and then open up through your hip like this. Wow, I'm shaking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so then bring it back down, and then come back to your breath. So we're gonna take a nice deep breath in. Slight hold, and then you're gonna let it go. And your ujjayi breath, which is your yoga breathing, is a breath in through your nose, and then you're gonna breathe out through your nose and you wanna kinda of make an oceanic sound. And then focusing on that breath and you'll start, stop, start forgetting about the physicalness of the pose and just be with it. So you're gonna take a deep breath in and on your next exhale, you're gonna walk your feet to your front of your mat. Forward fold. And then you're gonna breathe in. Halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. And then on your next breath in, you're gonna rise up for extended mountain pose. And then on your exhale, all the way out slow, forward fold, let all the breath out of your body. And then a halfway lift, extend and lengthen that spine. And then we're gonna step back into chaturanga. And this is one of the main flows in our vinyasas and yoga. And it's important when you drop back to focus on your joint stacking. So you want your elbows to be over your wrists, shoulders stacked on top of that. And then you want to pull your shoulder blades back towards your spine. So you're almost sinking into oh, your shoulder blades. Like that? And that'll actually help give you more support. And then strengthen your core so you have a straight back. And that's essentially a high plank oh. or at the start of your push-up pose. Okay. A modification is you can just drop down to your knees oh, that's nice. and then keep your back straight, keep your core engaged. And then the flow is you're going to go down to a low plank. So you want to keep your elbows stacked in towards your sides and you don't want to dump back. You know, you don't want to dump forward. You want your elbows to be at a 90 degree angle as you come down and then that's your low plank. 
Oh, yeah. Modification is you can drop down to your knees, <laughs> and then if you have to, you can just drop all the way down to your body. To I'm modify. glad you said that because I just did that. <laughs> and then we're going to do upward facing dog. So you're going to put the tops of your feet on your mat. Okay. You're going to have your wrist stacked over your shoulders right here. Yeah. You're going to engage your core, engage your legs, press everything up and off the mat. Your legs are off the mat. You're looking straight forward. You're going to hold that and then you're going to take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you'll flip your toes over. You'll press back into downward facing dog. Nice. As we do this, we're going to take a short break. We'll be back with more great yoga experiences with Nevada Lee on TV8. For fun and adventure, join me on Elizabeth Stanton's Great Big World. Find out where I'll be going next and which celebrities I'll be bringing along with me. I'll show you amazing destinations with lots to explore, and you'll get to know my celebrity guests the way they really are, up close and personal. We'll travel the world, experience new cultures, and together, try to make a difference. I'm Elizabeth Stanton, saying the world's a big place, and I'm going to show it to you. Here at Sun & Ski Sports, we are all about having the best summer adventures. Our full service bike shop is here to help you get back on the saddle with services ranging from simple tire changes, full bike overhauls, to, and rentals. If trail running, hiking, or trips to the lake are your thing, our expert staff will fit you in the best performing footwear or clothing. And don't forget about a relaxing day on the water with our stand-up paddleboard rentals. Call Sun & Ski Sports in Avon or Dillon today, or learn more at sunandski.com forward slash co. Hi there! Are you ready to explore famous neighborhoods from New York City to Kentucky? Watch The Neighborhood with host Nicole Newman. Featuring famous people, unique history and delicious places to eat and drink. Our viewers get an inside personal look at each neighborhood. With each episode we learn, grow, laugh, and live like a local, not just a visitor. Welcome to The Neighborhood. Check your local program schedule and tune in.
Welcome back to your Healthy Sunday on Good Morning Vale on TV8. I'm your host, Liz, and we are doing yoga with Nevada Lee. I already feel better. I am feeling fantastic this morning. It's amazing. If you start your day with this, it really does make a difference. So we've already done some breathing and some stretches, and we did the downward dog, and we've done some planks. What's next? Uh, we're going to get into the sun bee salutation. Okay. This is one of the most common uh, you know, flows in yoga as well. So we'll do that. We'll get into a couple of balancing poses that I really like. Nice. And then we'll finish off with some really juicy, deep stretching. Ooh, and, sounds uh, good. We'll finish in Shavasana. I love it. We'll be reborn again. Yes. For the day. Yes. Every single day. All right. So what do we have right. going on? Downward facing dog. Fingers are spread wide, pressing down through the mat. Tailbone up to the sky. Your knees can be slightly bent. You don't have to touch your your heels to the mat. Some people can do that. Most people can't. But it's not important. What's important is what's for your body. So Sun B, we're going to walk our hands forward. We're going to take a halfway lift as we breathe in. We're going to exhale, forward fold. And then we're going to breathe in and we're going to come into a chair pose to start igniting our legs and our core. Feet can either be together. I can't really do that. So we're hip width distance apart and stacking. And then your arms are going to be raised, pinky slightly toward in, engage your core, and then sink like you're sitting into a chair. And you kind of want to be able to see your toes right over your knees. I can't see anything right now. <laughs> yeah. So we would do this, and then we would exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And we'll step back through our chaturanga. So we'll go to a high plank, slightly forward, bend down to a low plank. Take a breath in as you flip over into upward facing dog and then exhale downward facing dog. And then we're going to step our right foot forward into oh. warrior one. So you're essentially going to take your right foot up by your right wrist. You're going to rotate your, <laughs> you're going to rotate your back foot to about a 45 degree angle. Hold on, I'm falling over. Oh, wait, okay. And then try to do it with your breath as you come up. And this is where the joint stacking comes into oh, play. So, okay, so you want to make sure your knee is always stacked directly over your ankle. Nice. So you, have, you don't want to have it in. You don't want to have it out. You want to have the muscle memory remember yeah. that exact pose. Okay. So as you press down into that knife edge of your back foot, you're engaging all the muscles through your legs. This is stacked. You're going to want to slightly turn your left hip forward and your right hip back. Arms go straight up in the air. And this is warrior one. And it's also important here is to stack your ears over your shoulders, over your hips. Are you supposed to feel it in your thigh? You're supposed to feel it everywhere. Oh, all right. So then. engage your core, engage every muscle in your legs, really press down into your feet. And it's funny, the more you engage, the tighter you are. Wow. It feels like the lighter you are. So bring your pinkies in, and we're gonna take a deep breath in. And then as we exhale, we're gonna flow through that chaturanga. So we're going to step back into our high plank, elbows in, halfway down for a low plank, <laughs> flip your toes over, press up into upward facing dog, stretch out through your abdomen, downward facing dog. And then you step your left foot forward up to your left wrist, rotate that back foot 45 degrees, and then rise up with your breath. I'm and so keep sad. remembering to breathe. Your breathe is what's going to oxygenate every vessel every cell in your body and it's going to help you stay in the fire and take a breath in exhale chaturanga upward so it's high plank to low plank this is the chaturanga <laughs> upward facing dog downward facing dog and that is sun salutation b right there wow so for the next one we're going to step that right foot forward again we're going to come up into warrior one with our breath deep breath in Exhale, take one more breath in, and on your exhale, you're going to rotate into warrior two. So your back foot's going to come parallel with the back of your mat. Remember to stack that front knee over your front ankle. And then you don't want to shift too far okay. forward because you're not in alignment, too far back, shoulders directly over hips. Am I doing it right? This is warrior two. Okay. You might want to lengthen your step a little bit more, and you want to try to go for a 90 degree bend in that front knee. Oh, perfect right I there. Have... Oh. So from here, <laughs> another nice one is straighten through that right leg, and then you're going to do uh, stargazer's pose. Oh, I like this. And this is a good side body stretch oh. here. And then from here, we're going to use a prop, so you're going to want to grab your block, and we're going to go into a triangle pose. 
So you're going to have those legs. Yeah. And you don't want to be locking out your knees here. Okay. You can bring your hand down to your ankle, down to your floor if you want to. I use a block, high side or low side. Place it there. Extend your left arm up to the sky. And then you want your hips to kind of flow like water and your knees to flow. And you'll start to move around and bend and you'll find that sweet spot. And you'll find that your back might crinkle out and crack like an accordion. Oh, nice. And then you can take your gaze even farther back to stretch through. And that is triangle pose. I hope you're doing this with us, people. And then from there, we would come back up into either a warrior two. We could switch it around, come into our warrior one. And then we would go back through another chaturanga flow to downward facing dog. Nice. So from there, some of the balancing poses and balance is a really, you know, key component of yoga. So remember to breathe if you haven't. Thank so you. We're doing that again. The ones that the easiest one to do to start building those stabilizer muscles through your legs, especially if you've had ankle injuries or whatnot, are standing leg raises. Oh. So you can just stand here, engage your core, tailbone down, hips up, focus on one point in the wall, remember to breathe, and it's as simple as just raising your right knee. And then remembering to breathe. And then you'll start to feel all those muscles in your ankles engage. If you even want to take it further, you can extend your arms up and then you can extend your right leg out and hold that right there. Mm. And just remember to keep breathing. Baron Baptiste of, Bar of Baptiste Power Yoga says the pose doesn't even start until you want to get out of it. Ah, well, I so wanted to get out of it. you need to stay there, you need to stay present <laughs> in the moment. A good thing to do is also they make straps that will help bring your feet closer. Um, so if you can't reach and you want to use straps as an assisting, nice. you can use your strap to bring it up like this. Oh. And then you can also open up your leg to the side. <laughs> oh, let me try that one. Ready? Um, and I broke this ankle at the beginning of last season. So. Yeah, I remember. Oh, look at me. Whoa. Uh, but you want to stay, keep your shoulders stacked over your hips. Oh, be quiet. <laughs> and then you can... Well, we won't get into it, but, no, but balancing that's really is one of the hardest things to do. And it Balance has to deal with... Balance is so hard. I actually had surgery on this foot, so I can really balance on this one. I could be like this all day, but then this foot is harder. So we all have injuries here in Colorado because like he said, we work hard, we play hard, and we gonna yoga hard. We have so much more to do with Nevada leaves, some more exercises, and then the relaxation part is coming up right here on Good Morning Vale. It's TV8. TVA Vale is serving the community 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Stop by for Good Morning Vale at 7 a.m. and stay all day for lifestyle favorites such as Good Day Vale, Daily Flash, Suki and Scott, and more. And you're sure to find the adventure you crave with back-to-back -back episodes of Scoreboard Nation and Outdoor America. Find us all day, every day on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92, on TV8Vale.com, and on all our social media platforms. There's more for you on Channel 92. Here at Sun and Ski Sports, we are all about having the best summer adventures. Our full service bike shop is here to help you get back on the saddle with services ranging from simple tire changes, full bike overhauls, and rentals. If trail running, hiking, or trips to the lake are your thing, our expert staff will fit you in the best performing footwear or clothing. And don't forget about a relaxing day on the water with our stand-up paddleboard rentals. Call Sun and Ski Sports in Avon or Dillon today or learn more at sunandski.com forward slash CO. Join us in exploring the everyday lives of community members here in the Vale Valley. Hear their inspiring stories of how they came here, their contributions to our community, and why they chose to call this place home. We want you to be one of our neighbors. 
If you would like to be featured or nominate someone to be featured, please send an email to danielle at tv8veil.com. We look forward to featuring your story right here on TV8. Do you love the outdoor lifestyle? Make sure you tune in every day at 8 p.m. to catch Scoreboard Nation. It's an outdoor lifestyle show dedicated to your three favorite mountain towns, Vail Beaver Creek, Park City, and Reno Tahoe. Join us for an incredible venture. Find us on TV8 Vail, Park City Television, or at thescoredboardnation.com. We can't wait to see you there. Welcome back to Good Morning Vale on TV8. It's your Sunday edition, and we are getting super healthy with Nevada Lee. I love you so much. I already feel a little shaky and feel really good. So we've been doing yoga. We've learned our breasts. We've done some stretches. We did a couple of balancing. We did the downward dog. We did the plank. And now we are going to do something new. And we've been doing it under what seems to be 95 oh. degree temperature here. Exactly. The lights make it very hot <laughs> in the studio. So this is hot yoga, everybody. This is like what we do at Baptiste Power Yoga. Right. Over at Revolution. You nice. Know, 95 degrees. Ugh. It feels a little bit hot to start with, but once you get used to it and get into it, it helps your muscles warm up yeah, I and bet. release and stretch Oh, so I can imagine. Easier. I think I'm more limber because of the heat. <laughs> okay. So, the one pose that I forgot to mention that I do every morning when I get up using my bed as a prop is essentially like a half pigeon pose. So you which, stand on the floor? So we're going to be standing on the floor. Half pigeon is usually on the ground, uh -huh. but it does put a lot of pressure on your knees okay. and the pain. So I do it standing up. Right, so you'll go to the issues, side of your careful. bed and I just take the side of my foot. I'll put it up there and you can bend your knee you at whatever angle works for you <laughs> and then you just start to lean over into it and just let your body relax down heavy. Oh, this is a great stretch for your butt and your thigh. For your butt, your sciatic, it gets to your IT band. You can bring your foot across even more and bend into it. Bend to the left, bend to the right, you know, bring your leg out oh, a little bit. Yeah. It's a great way just to move that stretch all the way up and down without right. putting and a lot of pressure. Both legs, and then you obviously balance it out on the other side. Okay, cool. I like this. Your bed's very high, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, next. We'll get down to what we usually do is kind of the you know the rejuvenation aspect of it. Perfect. We'll get into the relaxing, the rest of the hip openers. Alrighty. So because I do have bad knees, I do most of these poses assisted with the wall, which I really like a lot. So we'll start out with half pigeon on the wall, also figure four on the wall. So come so your knees are at a 90 degree bend here. Take your right ankle, stack it on your left knee, and then you can sit here just like this, and you'll start to feel it in your lower buttocks right there. You can also start to drop your knees slightly oh, yeah. to the left. And then you can also assist by grabbing your knee or grabbing your whole foot and cradling oh, your leg. That's a gluteus. And that'll get you stretches from your ankles, oh. IT band, sciatic, lower back. But that's a great way to modify pigeon. Absolutely. And just to sit here and do it on the wall. And yeah. then you would switch sides, balance it out. You can also press on this knee yeah. and open up your hip this way. That's nice. Just whatever feels good for your body. It's good for your it, psoas. And whatever ang you know, angles you need to get the stretch you want. It's your practice, and it's always yoga practice. It's never yoga perfect. There is I no love such it. thing. So ah. that's our half pigeon on the wall. Okay. Then I like to follow with a deep hip and opener, which is frog on the wall. Frog on the wall. Usually frog is done on the ground, you know, but that puts a lot of pressure on your knees. So you want your knees 90 degrees, and then you want to start to open your feet so they almost come parallel against the wall, and then just work on finding that distance and that stretch, and you can press on the insides of your knees as well too. Have your feet up on the wall, Liz. Oh, there we go. Oh, there Fro we go. Frog on the wall. Frog on the wall. <sighs> and oh yeah, that's a better there. stretch actually. And then when was the last time you remembered to breathe? Just now. <laughs> <laughs> so trying to connect your breath with everything through the entire practice is the ultimate goal. And sit there with your breath in hold, out, hold. And you can do this as long as you want. You could do this all day. I know. <clears throat> then from here, it's really easy to do uh, a legs up the wall. So you can just set your legs on the wall and rest like this. If you'd like to place your hands underneath your 
Sight your sacrum. You can just stick your legs up in the air like that. If you really want to get into it, you can do, you know, a shoulder, a shoulder stand. And then you can even drop that back into a deaf man's pose. Or if you really want to do it, touch your feet back into plow. I don't know why I can do this, but I can. That's amazing. And then you want to come back down slowly, rolling onto your back. And then you want to hug your knees into your chest. And that'll help relieve and roll around, oh. relieve a little bit of tension on that lower back. Nice. And then what we'll do is we'll spin around. <laughs> just so we can see the camera. Oh, I'm so dizzy. <laughs> and then we'll go back in. And this is probably my favorite pose. It can be used, you can use a strap with it too. But we're going to do the uh, twisted roots again. So knees together, left leg out long. Right knee is going to come over. You want to try to leave your shoulder blades on your mat. It's not important if you can touch this leg to the ground or anything. And then sit here and breathe. And as you exhale, try to go a little bit deeper. Deep breath in. And that'll expand and stretch your tendons, ligaments. Exhale, go a little deeper. Take an inhale again. Bring your knees to your chest. Extend your right leg out long, bring your left leg over, and then you can extend your left arm out and you want to take your gaze to the left as well too. And then try to get as deep down into the stretch as you can. I'm actually Gumby because I can <laughs> hit the floor. Okay, this is nice. And then we bring our knees back into our chest. <clears throat> And usually one of the second to last poses is Subdha Baddha Konasana. You bring your soles of your feet together. You let your knees hang out wide. You know, if this gives you any pressure anywhere or pain, you can put blocks underneath each side of your leg to rest here like this. Good. And we'll take a couple more deep breaths in. And then we'll come into our final resting pose, corpse pose the end of our life cycle of this Aww. journey today. Your legs come out long. Good night. Your arms can go anywhere. You're gonna take one last final deep breath in, as big as you can, hold it for a second, and then you're gonna let everything go. And let your breath fall down naturally. And then just sit back and absorb the goodness thank yourself for showing up and treating your body this practice today can i thank you for showing up <laughs> and giving my body this practice today? And, you know and now we've connected our breath to our body and the physicalness to our mind you know which is always running crazy and then that helps us bring us centered back into our soul wow well i could pass out but i can't because we're really on tv today but Nafada, I can't thank you enough. This is a beautiful, beautiful experience. If you were doing this at home, please continue to practice. It's just a wonderful, wonderful feeling. I have to say, I feel way better than I did first thing in the morning. And then usually what you'll do is you'll come back to a seated position. Okay. You'll bring your hands to heart center. Um, the teacher will usually go through, you know, a closing of um, her practice for the day. Mm -hmm. And then we end each practice with namaste, which mm -hmm. is basically stating that the life love and the wisdom within me sees and honors the light love and the wisdom with you. That's beautiful. And we enjoy you for showing up and sharing this practice with I us. I love that. And then you'll bring your thumbs to your forehead, your third eye center, your penile gland, the center of all spirituality. And then you'll bow forward and say namaste with the class. Namaste with this class. <laughs> <laughs> namaste right here. Namaste right here on my mat. Namaste, everybody. That was an amazing experience with Nevada Lee. If you want to get your yoga on, look him up. Nevada, v Nevada, <laughs> Nevada Lee Furrow, you can reach out to me. I have his contact information. Find him on Instagram and Facebook. And, of course, we love you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you so I much. I love this experience. Namaste, everybody. Oh, and if I can say one more yes. thing. Revolution Power Yoga yeah. is my home studio where nice. I was trained as a teacher and where I practice. 
Um, everybody is always welcome to go there. They have everything from these heated power classes to yin yoga to the full-on aroma restore where you basically Whoa. lay here with bolsters and blankets. Ugh. You get comfortable. They play meditation music. Um, and it's an absolutely wonderful experience. Uh, we did a sober event with uh, Re the Reconnect Foundation up here. Nice. Uh, if anybody is interested in yoga for the first time, if anybody is interested in recovery, you know, trying to get help with the drugs and the alcohol that plagues this valley with all the problems, reach out to the recoveryfoundation.org. Uh, I think you sign up for their newsletter, but they will offer you your first class free at Revolution Power Yoga to experience what it's like. You know, if you want, I can come there to help guide you through it and be a friend. Aww. But that place is all about connection, community, empowerment, and community is the biggest thing. And it's all through the practice of yoga. This is the greatest feeling. I am so grateful for you, Nevada Lee, for yoga, for the experience that we just had here today, and for all of you for joining in and learning a little yoga right here on Good Morning Vale. It's TV8. We'll be right back. Good Morning Vale. Nap Harvest, your local marketplace for fresh, locally produced products. Our indoor farmer's market is open seven days a week, featuring locally grown organic produce, prepared meals, honey from our nap nectar hive, furniture, cutting boards, and much more. We source and sell locally grown and produced products from the Vale and Roaring Fork Valleys. Visit us at our new location in Eagle Ranch, 717 Sylvan Lake Road, next door to Color Coffee Roasters. Familia, estamos muy emocionados de por fin presentarles nuestro nuevo programa completamente en español, Conexión Latina, que se estrena este lunes 21 de agosto a partir de las 7 de la tarde. Por el momento, el programa se transmitirá los lunes, miércoles y viernes de 7 a 7 y media de la tarde, con una repetición de 7 y media a 8. Así que no hay excusas para perdértelo. Te recuerdo que puedes sintonizar nuestra programación a través del canal 92 de Comcast nuestra página web cvadel.com y nuestra página de Facebook CBA Conexión Latina. Acompáñanos en esta nueva aventura llena de información y entretenimiento local. No te lo pierdas. Andrea Jackson. Welcome to Life Love Shopping. Do you have any personal stories you can share? Do I? Yes, <laughs> I so, do. So even though you were... For Some good deals. Too good to miss on flash deals. Now check this out. Studies show spending time outdoors can help with depression, lowering blood pressure, and overall health and happiness.
Thank you all for tuning in to your Sunday edition of Good Morning Veil vale on TV8. I'm your host, Liz. Thanks to Elizabeth Sullivan for coming in today. We just had a great weekend with working out, and I want to thank everybody in the studio here. We have Brett, we have Hunter, and of course, the magnificent Danielle. Without them, the show would be flat. So I'm glad that they're here, and we have an amazing Ray of hosts here for you guys for the full week ahead. We have a beautiful week. We have Gretchen, we have Kimberly, we have Avija, and then we have Kevin and so many more great people here. Ben Roof with his adventure show. So many great things. So you are having a wonderful experience with the brand new experience with TVA. Good morning, Vale. And now we have our Spanish programming with Julio. So it's so many great things. Stay tuned. We're going to be here for you guys all week long on Good Morning Vale. It's TV8, everybody. Have a great week. When you're in Vail, you're in vacation mode, and you need a flexible home tour experience that fits into your schedule. We've transformed how you view and buy homes in the Vail Valley. With immersive, cutting-edge technology, you can explore properties 10 times faster. In our lounge, we guide you through this digital world on a 16-foot screen where you can imagine your next home in comparison to your favorite recreational spots. Say goodbye to multi-day home tours and hello to a quick stop between your other plans. That's the power of the immersion theater. Join us in exploring the everyday lives of community members here in the Vail Valley. Hear their inspiring stories of how they came here, their contributions to our community, and why they chose to call this place home. We want you to be one of our neighbors. If you would like to be featured or nominate someone to be featured, please send an email to danielle at tv8vale.com. We look forward to featuring your story right here on TV8. When making money is the aim, these kids, they bring their game together. Biz Kids. Can you dig it? Real businesses by real biz kids. Watch and learn tips on how to start your own business. Biz kids. Right on. Tune into Coffee with America and start your day in the right direction. Where we go over the latest and greatest in health, lifestyle, entertainment, and more. Start your day off on Coffee with America. You are watching K30. This is called Management Essentials, and we really go into the basics. How do you have a difficult conversation? Why should you document this? Um, how do you see trouble spots with your employees? How do you build a culture? Um, and then we move into taking the lead, which dives more into your team dynamics. How, what, how does your team motivated? How do you lead a team of different personalities? And then we have our Community Leadership Academy, which dives into your personal values, um, what makes you unique as a leader, and, and what's important to you. And then we end with our Board Service Basics course, which is you know, really serving your community through civic engagement. Whether you maybe are interested in board service or you're doing it, but you don't really know what you're doing. Um, but really, you know, teaching people how to go out and give back to their community. Great. Thank you for expanding a little bit on each of those because I think it's, that's really important to the engagement question <clears throat> and to the workforce. I'll share a, a quick story. I was talking to a business owner who was lamenting a little bit that they'd had a, a managerial position open for over a year. And they just couldn't, they, they had applications and they just couldn't find the right person. And, and this person said to me, I've got this person on my team that would be perfect for this job in two years. And I said, you should hire that person today <laughs> and develop exactly. them and, and provide them the skills training um, that exists through different channels that, that you talked about or CMC or the Workforce Center or other things that exist. And, and they called me about six weeks later and they said, we hired that person for the job and we're, we know that they're not there yet, but we're gonna give them every path because 
you can't, it's hard for a business to sit in an open position for a year mm -hmm. when you have someone that you think could do it. You need to hire that person, yep. especially in a community like ours with the challenges that, that Carolyn talked about. So that's one example, but I think it's, I think it's pretty um, common across businesses of, of um, anywhere from six to 60 employees that that type of situation happens. So mm -hmm. um, pardon the introduction or the interruption rather <laughs> um, with my commentary. Mark, how about you? Um, what trends are you seeing and share some of the new programming at CMC? Sure. I mean, well, first of all, I just want to say what, to Carolyn's points, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, on our campus, we've had five retirements in the last 12 months, and I've had at least one position that's been open for over three years. So not unusual for us as an employer to see exactly the same things that everybody else in the community is seeing. Um, but, you know, some of the trends, I mean, you know, Chris, I think in my role, what I do is I, I let the experts like Carolyn and, and some of our community partners come to us and say, this is our need. And then we go off and kind of do a little bit of research ourselves to kind of just work out things like what's the job turnover, where's the growth and so forth. And so a couple of programs that I'd like to highlight, I think one that we introduced last uh, fall was our bachelor, new bachelor's degree in human services. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty obvious to say that behavioral health is a major, major issue. And as the county tries to respond, there's a huge workforce need in human services. So that's one program that we have developed. I'm really thrilled to say that it is enormously popular, probably one of our most popular bachelor degrees in, less, you know, in just over a year. Um, at the campus level, quite exciting. Uh, I don't know if people have noticed there's a bit of construction going on, but there's even more coming. Uh, we are looking to um, launch a dental hygiene program in the summer of next year. Anybody who goes to the dentist in this community would also know there is a need for that. Um, and then also in the fall of next year, in response to um, hospitals across all of the districts that CMC serves, we are launching a radiology technician program. So these are all examples of, again, like people coming to us saying, could you, would you be interested in, and we go off and explore. Um, and just make sure that you know this is the right program for uh, the community and also for our students. Going back to what I said earlier, we want our students to come out of these degrees with minimal debt, which usually they will do because of our good tuition, but also go into high paying jobs and, and really contribute to the community and can continue to con contribute to the growth of our community as well. Yeah, it's, um, the dental hygiene is a really exciting opportunity. Mm -hmm. You talked earlier in the segment, or in the first segment, around the, the teacher and the education pipeline, um, where those kids graduate from CMC and essentially have a, I believe it's 100% placement with Absolutely. the Eagle County School yep. District. Yes. Um, so there's, it, we're, <clears throat> you're filling needs yep. and responding to, to the community need and providing opportunities for the kids that have grown up here to be able to stay here mm -hmm. in professional positions and um, you're also helping on the housing standpoint. This is not a housing show. <laughs> it's a whole different mountain perspective show. Uh, but you guys have some housing going in too. Yeah, I mean, I will say, you know, part of it, you know, you build student housing on our campus. And who are our students? Well, they're the workforce. Um, but, you know, the other thing about housing, what's super exciting about it as well, is we're hoping to attract people to come and do our programs and stay in the valley and actually contribute to the workforce. So. We are very close to finishing one building of 36 apartments, which will be open hopefully mid-August, and then a second one, which is in partnership, again, collaboration with Eagle County, which should be opening its doors around October, November. Yeah. yeah. Remarkable. Thanks for, thanks for that little uh, tangent there, but it yeah. is related to workforce totally. in Eagle County, and it is happening at CMC, so I think it's a good... TV8 is serving the community 24 hours a day, seven days a week, delivering content in all sorts of mediums. Take us with you on the go as Good Morning Vale and Good Day Vale are now available as podcasts. You can find us on Spotify, Apple, and Pandora. And don't forget, you can always find TV8 on YouTube, TV8Vale.com, and all of our social media platforms. Just another reason why there's more for you on 92. Experience the beauty of fall on the rails of the Leadville Railroad. 
take in the cool mountain breeze as you climb to 11,000 feet to watch the vibrant reds, oranges, and golds of fall come alive. Enjoy delicious hot beverages, learn some history, and relax with family and friends. Even your pets can enjoy a ride on the train. Offering daily trips, the weekend specials sell out fast. To secure your seat, book today at LeadvilleRailroad.com. Here at Sun and Ski Sports, we are all about having the best summer adventures. Our full service bike shop is here to help you get back on the saddle with services ranging from simple tire changes, full bike overhauls, and rentals. If trail running, hiking, or trips to the lake are your thing, our expert staff will fit you in the best performing footwear or clothing. And don't forget about a relaxing day on the water with our stand-up paddleboard rentals. Call Sun and Ski Sports in Avon or Dillon today, or learn more at sunandski.com forward slash co. Um, next question for you guys, and maybe Mark will stick with you on this to kick us off, but I think one of the terms that, that we hear a lot, I hear a lot in the community is this idea of grow your own workforce. And when we talk about growing our own workforce, this is aligned with what you were just talking about with some of the CMC programming. But expand on that idea. What are some of the, the things happening? What is, what is, what's interesting to you with this idea of grow your own workforce? Well, I mean, the first thing I'll say, and again, it's a shameless plug for what we do on our campus, you know, close to 95% of our students are in district students. So that's what we, that's kind of our aim is to grow our own. Um, how we do that then is to think really broadly about what sort of opportunities do we need to offer students. So, you know, I talked a little bit about our healthcare programs. I talked a little bit about what's going on in the schools. Everybody has a different pathway. Not everybody wants to do a bachelor's degree. So it's really thinking about where are the needs and how do we match those needs with the students? So, you know, something that CMC and our campus is very interested in at the moment is trades. What does that look like for CMC to dip its toe into trades? Is it a massive trade school? Um, if so, where does that live? Uh, but again, at the dual enrollment level, we are doing construction courses at Battle Mountain, um, probably starting them at Eagle Valley High School as well. Just let's get something starting right now and keep looking into the feasibility of you know, perhaps doing a trade school somewhere. And again, looking at partnerships, we have a lot of, unsurprisingly, a lot of organisations coming to us saying, we need an HVAC program, we need a plumbing program. So you know, my question to them is, okay, how can you help us make this happen? Right. So this is what we're doing. I mean, we have our traditional associates and bachelors, some certificate programs, but now I think trades is probably gonna be the next direction that we go in. Yeah, uh, great examples and uh, directly related to that idea of growing your own workforce mm -hmm. with 95% of your enrollment being um, people who are in district here in, in the area. So yeah. great example. Anna, how about you? From a grow your own workforce standpoint, what are some of the things that, that you're seeing and what are some of the programs that are out there? I think uh, the obvious answer is go after the youth. You know, you have to get to these kids early. 
um, and you have to show them the opportunities that are available to them. And like Mark said, not everybody t charts the same course, and, mm -hmm. and that's great. That's what we need. We need a variety of, of people in the workforce. So that we do that at the partnership through our CareerWise Youth Apprenticeship Programs. We have partnerships with um, businesses in, in so many different sectors, you know, whether that is banking or HVAC or you know <laughs> whatever that ca the case may be. But these kids are are starting their career early. They're starting in their junior year, um, and by the time you know they're out of school for out of high school for one year, they're fully functioning full-time employee um, that can then grow with the organization. Um, so I think that that's been a really important um, and eye-opening program for our business community um, as well as the youth in our schools. We also have our Career X, um, Career Exploration Programming through the school district, <laughs> which is kind of a, a career-wise light where you know, you're not necessarily employed, but you're able to go into the businesses and see what a career you know, may, be, may look like as an electrician or a plumber or you know, whatever the case may be. Um, I think it's also offering opportunities to level up. You know, the, the youth is an important aspect of, of our workforce, but we have a lot of people that are already here and are already working and you know, may, may have realized that they need to acquire some new skills or, or go a different direction, yep. and, and we, need to make, we need to offer that opportunity. And I think it, it's very focused, like Mark said, on you have to lean into the, the careers that make sense here. You know, we're, we're not all, we can't all be astrophysicists, especially in Eagle County. Uh, but we certainly, you know, do have amazing real estate. We have, our Vail Health is an amazing employer that offers a wide variety of career opportunities. So, you know, there's a lot of industries that you can succeed in here in a big way that maybe it, you couldn't in other places. And I really like the framing of grow your own not only with the, the youth and the kids, but also the seasonal workers who want to stay year round, um, or the, um, the, the gap year people who come for a year or two and decide they want to stay. I think, I think those are important components of how we think about growing our own. Um, Carolyn, anything you want to add um, around the idea of growing your own workforce? I'll, I'll just tell Mark and Anna yes as well. You know? <laughs> but I, I think it's really critical. I, mean, I, I think Anna touched, and there's great programs with, um, um, you know, Val, Vail Valley Partnership and CareerWise to focus on the youth. The thing that we're trying to focus on is those high schoolers that may not know what they want to do, and they graduate from high school, and then there's no support system. There's no nothing in school. Um, and they're, they're working, but they're not sh still not sure. So how can we bring resources to them that says, great, you've got an entry-level job. That's terrific. Good for you. What are some next things that you might want to tackle to get to your next level, to maybe supervise or talking about some of those leadership skills? Those soft skills are so important in the, in the workforce that um, we need to find those people that are already working and say, great, I want to move up. How do I move up? Where do I move up? What can I do? And so are those resources available? Are those, those um, systems available to take it from, yeah, I'm working, but I want to be more. I want to do more, and I want to make more money so I can, I can survive. So um, you know, I, with the Workforce Center, we've got all kinds of internship opportunities, work-based learning opportunities, an apprenticeship pro program that we're working in healthcare, where the uh, healthcare, uh, the organization, identifies um, their people that they want to upskill and get into the program. And so you take some um, entry level, have them in the hospital for a, a while, and then say, great, here's your next opportunity. And there's actually some grant funds for that as well. And that means growing your own. That's, yep. organize, that's the organization saying, I'm investing in you as an employee, and we're going to train into what we need. Yeah, I, I think that's great. And it's a perfect time for us to take our second commercial break. Uh, we'll be right back with Mountain Perspectives. Did you know that all Eagle County residents and visitors can get a free Eagle Valley Library District card? All you need is a photo ID. You get our online databases and resources free music, free streaming, all from wherever you have internet access. Free audiobooks and e-audiobooks 
straight to your phone. Go into your Eagle Valley Library District branch today and get your library card. It's that time where we're talking Sun and Ski Sports Product of the Week. Now, we've got a great pair of shoes if you're looking to get out there and enjoy the courts. Now, these shoes are going to be as tough for you as you are on the competitor. Now, this is the Head Revolt Pro 4.0. This shoe has so many great features to it, and I don't even know where to begin. Head has this incredible technology called the T-Core 360, giving the shoe core strength, enhanced stability, and torsional support. Now, this also has a lockdown strap right here that's integrated into the lacing system, making it nice and easy for you to keep your foot stable while you're out there enjoying the courts. Now, it also has a 360-degree ventilation cooling system System. Not only on the top of the shoe, the upper portion right here, but also on the sole of the shoe where that nice little vent is to help you keep your feet cool while you're enjoying the courts. Now it also has a lateral control to avoid a rollovers with your ankles when you're out there enjoying anything that you're doing on the courts. Whether it's tennis or pickleball, these are the shoes for you to make sure that you are nice and supported while you're enjoying your favorite sport. Now to get your hands on these fabulous shoes, you should check out Sun and Ski Sports. Whether you go online or whether you shop in store, you can go in and find your perfect pair of courtside shoes. That way you can enjoy everything that you're doing and make sure that your feet are nice and stable out there. We want to thank Sun and Ski Sports for giving you this product of the week. We've got more after this. Welcome aboard. Bobby Laurie and Nikki Noya have your ticket to everything you need for an on-the-go lifestyle. Grab your boarding pass. It's time to jet set. When you're in Vail, you're in vacation mode and you need a flexible home tour experience that fits into your schedule. We transformed how you view and buy homes in the Vail Valley. With immersive, cutting edge technology, you can explore properties 10 times faster. In our lounge, we guide you through this digital world on a 16-foot screen where you can imagine your next home in comparison to your favorite recreational spots. Say goodbye to multi-day home tours and hello to a quick stop between your other plans. That's the power of the immersion theater. Mountain Perspectives. I'm Chris Romer. I am the president and CEO of Vail Valley Partnership. Joined today by Anna Robinson with Vail Valley Partnership and Vail Valley Works, Mark Brennan from Colorado Mountain College, and Carolyn Tucker from the Colorado Workforce Center. Um, we're talking about workforce in Eagle County. Um, we've talked about trends. We've talked about grow your own. We've talked about um, what workforce development even means and how it impacts a community. Um, so let's let's take a little bit of a step back, and we'll start with Carolyn on this one. What do you wish? You talked earlier about the workforce center being the best kept secret. Yes. Um, which is not a great thing. We want people <laughs> yeah. to know more about you. Yes. So what do you wish people knew more about your programs? Well, I I, uh, I want people to know that all of our programs are free, and that they are available to anybody who needs our services, and those services include resume writing, interview skills, even career assessments, like what do I want to do? I don't have an idea. Do I have uh, strengths in these different areas? Um, we also have career counselors one-on-one, -on -one, so we actually have a, a personal attachment and connection with people. We also do virtual um, webinars and um, virtual meetings if you can't make it to the Workforce Center, which is located in Edwards here in Eagle County. Um, and we also have grant funds. We can, people can get into CDL 
um, uh, get a CDL uh, license, they can do some, uh, we can pay for some of the programs that Mark offers at CMC, um, leadership training, so we have a ton of resources available and happy to talk to anyone about those resources and partner and share the information. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. You have uh, stuff not just for individuals, but for the businesses too, with some of those grants and things you talked about. So I, I think that's, those are all great things. Mark, how about you? What do you wish people knew about mm -hmm. Colorado Mountain Co Campus, the Colorado Mountain College, Vail Valley at Edwards? <laughs> uh, what do you wish they knew about the, the campus and the programming there? You know, I think I just wish people knew about the variety of what we offer. You know, I think a lot of us, a lot of people just think of us still as a community college. I would prefer to say a college for the community. Um, we offer bachelor degrees, you know, associate's degrees and a number of certificates. Uh, I think, you know, I probably shouldn't say this in public, but there are some people for whom education is not something that they want to do and I understand that, that's fine. But if you think you're not smart enough or that you can't do it, then I would probably say that you're wrong. If you think that you can't afford it, I would probably say you're also wrong. Um, if you don't think that, you have, that you'll get the support that you need in order to complete, I would probably say that you're wrong. So, you know, it's affordable. We have great scholarships. We have an awesome team of people who are there to see you succeed. Um, so yeah, if you have ever thought about it, come on in through the front door. Yeah, and this community is, um is very good to a lot of organizations and, and not-for-profits and different mm -hmm. needs. But share a little bit more about the scholarships. Do you, I'm putting you on the spot, we didn't talk about this before, <laughs> but do you have a ballpark number of how much money is going into scholarships on your campus? On our campus? Well, I'll give you sort of college-wide, it's just over a million dollars. Um, but at the Vale Valley campus, we are very, very fortunate to have close to nearly $300,000 worth of scholarships awarded to students this year. Yeah. It's extraordinary. Yeah, it's, it's real money that yeah. provides real opportunities yeah. to people. Um, and as we talked about in the first segment, when we talk about workforce, we're talking about people. Mm -hmm. um, so there are, there's real opportunities. So thanks for letting me throw you a little <laughs> bit of a curveball <laughs> there. And thanks for having the, the data at the tip of your brain. Yeah. Um, Anna, how about you? What do you wish people knew about your programming at, at Vail Valley Partnership and Vail Valley Works? Um, I wish that the business owners knew more that we are here to support them and that we are here to help them grow their own. You know, it's not just the community, but within your own business, if you're hesitant about promoting that person or, you know, they need a little, a little extra support and, and love to bring them along, that, that we're here to do that. And you don't have to look outside or, you know, keep a position open for, for years. <laughs> um, you know, I wish that they knew that we were here and that, that they should always be looking for leaders at every level of, of their organizations. Um, you know, you need, you need entry level leaders and you need strategic leaders. Um, and so we are here to help keep that continuum moving. Yeah, and uh, all great examples from each of you guys. I'll, I'll add um, to Anna's, I, I, I wish people knew that, that we would do custom training for mm -hmm. them. And, and connect them with some of the professional facilitators and trainers to do whatever they might need and to use us as that conduit. So that's something that a few businesses do and we're certainly willing and able to do it for, for most anybody um, to have them get exactly what they need. Yeah. Um, so one more question for you guys. Um, when we talk about workforce development, and again, that, what that really means is people, um, what is the one thing that you're really most excited about? And Anna, we'll start with you. Um, it might be a little bit of a, a off the wall answer, but I'm excited. Hardship creates opportunity, I think is, is the best way to put it. And right now it's, it's hard for our businesses to hire and retain employees. And so I'm excited, not for the business's hardship, but for the opportunity that it creates for the people who work here to level up, to make more money, to learn about themselves, learn skills that they didn't know that they had. So I think it's been really exciting to sit in on some of the trainings and, and hear the confidence build in some of these leaders. And I'm excited to see you know, what they do next. Yeah, it's a great answer. Mark, what, what are you most excited about when it comes to the idea of workforce development and workforce in Eagle County? I would probably say the first Friday of every May, which is when we have our graduation that's when I see the difference that we can make and what we, are, what we are able to contribute and what the community of 
the Valley is able to contribute? Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a great answer. And I would encourage anybody and everybody who hasn't taken the time to go to the Villar Performing mm -hmm. Arts Center on that first Friday evening in May to experience, I'm going to say kids, but it's not just kids. It's, no. it's the whole spectrum of, of ages, but these folks, um, what it means to them and the, what it means to their families and hearing from each of them at the podium sharing their experience, it is a immensely powerful Absolutely. evening. Mm -hmm. So um, that's a great example. Yeah. It's a great example. Carolyn, what about you? What is one thing you're most excited about when it comes to workforce in Eagle County? Well, I'm going to cheat because I have two. <laughs> one thing, um, one thing, the first thing is um, I'm so excited that we make a difference in pe individual people's lives. So when we get the phone call that says, hey, Carolyn, um, I got that job or hey, I got that promotion, thanks for your help. That means the world to us and our entire team because that's what we're all about, is taking people who don't have that confidence or may have been rocked by something and saying, we're gonna help you get to where you wanna go. So that's really exciting. Um, the second thing is I'm just thrilled with the partnerships and the resources that are available to the entire community, no matter where you are on the spectrum. Um, first time job, uh, like I said, laid off, wanting to be a leader. There's so many resources that everyone has to offer that you can find your way and, and try. And it's time to come out and, and be all you can be. That's kind of a cliche, but it's really stepping into what the world needs and what the, what the community needs and build our own fabric by having that resilient workforce. So that's what I'm really pumped about. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to take a little bit of executive privilege here and share <laughs> what I'm most excited about. And what I'm most excited about really is our, the entrepreneurial spirit that exists here in Eagle County. This county was built on a lot of the things that you guys have talked about, really bootstrapping, dating back 60 years when Vail Mountain opened the chairlifts and the community changed from a little bit more of a ranching and farming community into a, a tourism-oriented community and how we've grown since then, but we've maintained that entrepreneurial spirit and we've maintained the ability to focus on, on doing the right things. And our community, be it all the different economic hardships or um, pandemics or um, little blips that we've seen in, in my 26 years here, um, every single time our business community has said, all right, how do, we, how do we do it? What do we need to do next? We haven't wallowed in our, you know, spilt milk, if you will, but rather we've rolled up our sleeves and, and got, gotten things done. And I think that's the case for workforce. We're going to continue to roll up our sleeves and get things done uh, because that's what our people need and that's what our businesses need. It makes me excited. So last question, and this is going to be a really quick one. So lightning round. How do people learn more about your organization and the <laughs> things you do? Carolyn? Uh you can look for Colorado Workforce Centers. Uh, you can either Google that, or I can give you my phone number, 970-880-4172, and I will put you in contact with all of the resources we have. Great. Mark, how about you? Well, every semester you should be receiving a little uh, schedule in your mailbox. Pick it up and read it. Read the stories that are in there. You'll actually find a lot about what we do there. Or come to 150 Miller Ranch Road and walk in the door and see it for yourself. Yep, yep. great. And Anna, how about you? How can people learn more? Easiest ways online, valevalleyworks.org or valevalleypartnership.com or just come see us, come to a mixer. The team's always happy to help. That's great. Well, thank you guys all for taking the time to join us today. Thank you for viewing Mountain Perspectives. We've been talking about workforce in Eagle County with Carolyn Tucker, Mark Brennan, and Anna Robinson. Really appreciate all of you guys taking the time, and thank you so much. If you haven't seen Good Day Vale lately, here's what you've been missing.
I'm Cece Zach, and I'm the host of Good Day Bail, and you can find us on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92 or on our website at tvabail.com and on YouTube. We're here to serve the Vail Valley, and we look forward to sharing our story with all of you. Hi, it's Julio from TV8 Vail. Do you ever wonder why our tagline is there's more for you on 92? Because we're always bringing you more. More Good Morning Vail from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. all year long. More local coverage with Vail Vibes and Covered Bridge on TV8. More opportunities to participate with new roundtable panels on Mountain Perspectives and our new Spanish programming block coming this fall. Find us on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92 on YouTube or our website at tv8vail.com. Do you love the outdoor lifestyle? Make sure you tune in every day at 8 p.m. to catch Scoreboard Nation. It's an outdoor lifestyle show dedicated to your three favorite mountain towns, Vail Beaver Creek, Park City, and Reno Tahoe. Join us for an incredible venture. Find us on TV8 Vail, Park City Television, or at thescoredboardnation.com. We can't wait to see you there. You're watching K34QB, Vail, Colorado. This week on Machinery Pete TV, Pete's in North Carolina at the Edwards and Foster Farm Retirement Auction. That line of green includes this 8345R that just proved how strong the market is. Grandpa's Oliver 770 survived a lot of years and even a tornado. And Pete visits with legendary auctioneer E.B. Harris. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, a big iron company. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Big Iron Auctions and the Share Your Legacy program, promoting the future of agriculture with amazing legacy stories from across America. Well, folks, it's been a few years since we've been to North Carolina, but we're back today just outside of Lewisburg, North Carolina. We're down here to cover the farm retirement auction for Edwards and Foster Farms. I tell you what, beautiful line of John Deere tractors here we're going to watch sell. But before we get to all that fun, it's time for Share Your Legacy from our friends at Big Iron. This week, we visit Belle Plaine, Minnesota, featuring a family farm that dates back to 1905. You know, I left the farm in the mid 80s because of the farm crisis. It's like I got out in 1983 is when I graduated from high school. So it was tough times on the farm and it just was not conducive of an environment at that point economically to bring somebody else in. But I always had that goal to come back because this is a farm that's been around for 118 years. And that is the legacy to keep this farm going. So for me, preserving this place is the most important thing in my life right now. Um, loving this farm is like loving my husband. It is who he is and it's just, it's just who we are as a family. This farm that we're on is 80 acres and we call it today, we call it WHQ World Headquarters. It was originally settled by my great grandparents in 1905. Now they both came from Germany, emigrated from Germany, um, and then it's been in the family ever since. Well, these grapes themselves, you know, they're a legacy all by themselves because they've been here since the farm started for my grand, great grandparents came and they planted these vines. And my great grandparents are gone, grandparents are gone, mm -hmm. mom and dad are gone, but the grapes are still here and now we're here. So, I mean, you know, th this is what a legacy means. It's something that is left after you're gone that people can look at and know that you were here and that you left your mark on this world. I tell the boys all the time, they're so fortunate that they can walk on the legacy of their family every single day in the dirt, in the gravel, in these grapes. Um, they're able to actually touch the history of their family in ways that most people never ever experience. 
So as I reflect on, you know, this operation and where I'm at today, and, and I'm blessed to be in the chair that I'm in, of being the owner and the operator of this entity. Uh, it's just filled with a lot of great memories of what I did here growing up as a kid, uh, the memories that I'm making with my family here, and laying the groundwork for the future of this farm to go forward. Coming up, the John Deere 8360R, it's got 5,321 hours on it. For over 40 years, Big Iron has been America's trusted name in auctions. From farm equipment to real estate, to livestock and classic cars, we offer full service support to all of our sellers. In 2022, Big Iron acquired Sullivan Auctioneers in an effort to elevate the level of service provided to our customers. Both companies sharing similar small town origins, our stories begin the same. Combined, our over 80 years of experience has established best practices to better serve our customers in the online auction space. With our large online selection of equipment, engaged bidder base, and full service approach, we take pride in consistently exceeding our customers' expectations. Big Iron Auctions and Sullivan Auctioneers, truly we are better together. The only way I've seen to safely clean aluminum grain and stock trailers is Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner from Dakota Ag Innovations. With over 15 years of proven performance cleaning all types of aluminum, the results speak for themselves. Dirty, stained, and discolored aluminum trailers don't stand a chance against Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner. Safely improve the appearance of your aluminum trailers at home and make a statement with Bright Plus. Order today at TrailerCleaner.com or find Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner at a farm store near you. We know what we've been through these past few years, and we're not quite sure where we're heading. While the world of stocks and investments may be up and down, time has shown that your home continues to appreciate. Create your dream addition. Add more outdoor entertainment space. Build a space to build your memories. Manufactured in America, built by American craftsmen. Four seasons. The choice is yours because that's what freedom is all about. You like to keep your beard perfectly groomed, but your hair shavings fly everywhere, and she hates that mess. It's impossible to clean up. Introducing Vacu Trim by Bell & Howell, the total body electric shaver that trims your hair and vacuums it up at the same time. Vacu Trim has 20 precise trim length settings built in, so you just dial and trim, groom, shape and edge without any messy whiskers in the sink. Vacu Trim's ultra sharp stainless steel blades give you a precision cut, while the built in vacuum captures all the trimmed hair. Vacu Trim's vacuum action is so powerful, just watch how it cleans up all this hair. Don't fumble with attachments. Snap on the guide to shape your beard, edge sideburns, or remove the guide to tame unwanted body hair. Get your vacuum trim for only $39.95 and we'll even ship it to you free. Order now. Call 1-800-263-3960 or go to vacutrim.com. So call 1-800-263-3960. That's 1-800-263-3960 or go online to vacutrim.com. What you see today started in 1958, and it started out with a mule named Rody, a horse named Prince, a cub tractor, and an 80 and four. And that and some cotton is what you see was the beginning of what you see today. Well, folks, last year the average auction price on a John Deere 8360R tractor was 170,305 bucks. That was up 11.9% from the previous year. Now on today's auction, this 8360R has 5,321 hours on it. 167, 167. 66 and a half. What? 66 and a half. 166 high. 167, now seven. 167. Throw the hand up again, 167. Seven, 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 seven,
Hey folks, I'm here with Harold Edwards, uh, retiring farmer. Uh, Harold, your, your partner, uh, Raymond Foster, you guys uh, wrapping up an uh, amazing farm career here. I've so much enjoyed our conversation. You were describing the farming community around Lewisburg here as family. That's right. Um, you just, now you grow tobacco here and told the story of a frost coming in. Oh, yeah. And can you pick up the story of one of your neighbors? Yeah, we, I mean, you know, any time we could help each other, if we finished putting in and somebody else wasn't, right. and if it was a frost coming, frost killed the back. So, I mean, John from Ren called us, said, look, y'all through putting in? I said, yeah. He said, can you help us? I said, let me get with Raymond. Let's see what's got going on. We called him back. We said, yeah, we can help. So we didn't just go over there and help him and put it in his barns, because the problem was he didn't have enough barns mm -hmm. to get it in. So we would take all our equipment, all our trucks, and we'd come and put it in our barns. Now, Harold, you were also telling me uh, about a, a local uh, uh, dinner uh, with oh, yeah. the local farmers here that you guys get together once a month. And we this get, thing yeah. goes back like 40 years? At, at least 40 years. I don't know how long, but it's been a long time. Then everybody would talk about the farm and yeah. what kind of problems they were having on the farm with the disease and different stuff. Yeah. And that's where all of us would kind of get together and share, share knowledge. ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so was it, that a big uh, a philosophy of your father and Raymond over oh, there, yeah. sharing knowledge? Yeah, they would all get together and discuss what they did, you know, what happened here, what happened there. All right, folks, this is going to be interesting. John, you're 8330 here. Now, the three highest auction prices ever on 8330s have all come in the last six months. Now, of course, they were very low houred. Uh, I saw them as high, record price of 225000 August 17th, 2022, Aberdeen, South Dakota. That one only had 1,493 hours on it. Our 8330 here today, 8,216 hours. 75, Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale.
What do you do when your tire goes flat and there's no air anywhere? You reach for Bullseye Pro, the smarter, faster, hands-free way to fill it up with air. Bullseye Pro is equipped with a rechargeable lithium-ion power plant. So fast and so convenient. It's like the power of an air compressor in the palm of your hand. Look, you can inflate all four tires on a single charge. It has a built-in smart pressure digital sensor that gauges and automatically stops when the set tire pressure is reached. Easily inflate pull toys, exercise balls, and more. Call or go online now and get the complete Bullseye Pro inflation system for the factory direct price of just $79.99. Plus, we'll ship your entire order free and we'll give you a 50% discount on a second one. Order now. To order, call 1-800-977-3992. That's 1-800-977-3992 or go to GetBullseyePro.com. Do you listen to the TV on high volume or have trouble hearing conversations? Then you would benefit from hearing aids. Don't waste thousands on expensive hearing aids when you can get Nano's revolutionary technology for just $297. Don't be fooled by higher priced hearing aids. The CIC Recharge is a true hearing aid, not an amplifier. With rechargeable technology many customers say is superior to more expensive models. Call now and get not one, but two Nano hearing aids for just $297. $97. Plus, we'll add a portable charging case and ship your order absolutely free. The CIC Recharge has a tiny in-the-ear canal design that is nearly invisible. Why keep missing out on important conversations or waste thousands of dollars? Call and get two CIC Recharge hearing aids for only $297 and free shipping. 800-317-7966. Again, that's 800-317-7966. Is your closet cramped and cluttered? Well, now there's Space Triangles, the clever new hanging device that fits over any hanger to save you closet space in seconds. And now may be your last chance to get them for a low price. Now you can vertically hang multiple items, guaranteeing that you'll have up to 70% more space in your closet. Your closet can go from messy to marvelous in no time with ease. The ingenious slipover design secures the hangers vertically. It snugly fits all types of hangers to save you space. Order now to get an 18-piece set of space triangles for just $9.99. But wait, due to rising costs and supply chain shortages, this may be your last chance to get space triangles at this low price. There is a strict limit of one closet pack per order while supplies last. Once they're gone, they're gone forever. Order now. Call 1-800-942-5170. Call or visit spacetriangles.com. So call 1-800-942-5170 now. What's that piece of equipment worth? Check out Machine Repeat's auction prices for the answer. Free to view, updated daily, all types of equipment. Go to MachineRepeat.com and click on the Auction tab, then Auction Price Data. Hey folks, a real treat here. I'm with legendary auctioneer E.B. Harris. Uh, now, E.B., your your office here up in Warrington, North Carolina. One, yes, I am. I'm in Warrington, North Carolina. How far from? Now we're in Lewisburg today. That's we're in Lewisburg, the next county, which is due west of Warren County. Yes. Okay. Now, E.B., I was looking on your website, ebharris.com. By the way, it's a fantastic website. Thank you. Uh, and your your history, you got in the auction biz in 1977. 76. Yeah. 76. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. So you're coming up not too long on on 50 years in the business. That's right. uh, how, how did you get your start? Well, I was working for Lancaster Stockyards in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. They hired me as a check-in clerk and uh, two days a week. And one of the auctioneers down there, a great auctioneer, uh, his name was Burt Bly out of Franklin, Virginia. And he came, he and I became friends, and he suggested that I go to auction school. And I told him, I said, Burt, I don't know if I can do it. He said, yes, you can. So my wife was doing a public job, and she mustered me up enough money to buy me a plane ticket to Fort Smith, Arkansas, and uh, got my tuition out there yep. at uh, Colonel Brown at yep. Fort Smith Auction School. Okay. And that's why I went out there mm -hmm. and came back, and Lancaster Stockyards gave me opportunity to start selling at 2 o'clock in the morning and, and different times, and I worked huh. on up from down up to, to continue on. Amazing career, E.B., and now your son Shane? My son Shane. He's been in the business with you now. Oh, I suppose he grew up in it when he was he a little guy. He grew up jumping mud puddles, taking tickets back to his mama. 
to the sales, <laughs> the field office. Well, I really appreciate EB your help and Shane's help over the years. I'm a Minnesota boy. I call you guys up and say, "Hey, how'd this sale go?" And you guys have always been great providing reports, and uh, so excited to come down and see you guys sell this beautiful equipment. Here's my grandpa's 1959 Oliver 770. He bought that a couple years old from Birkin Implement. I've had it ever since. They used that for pretty much everything. They'd field cultivated with it, had a little Krauss disc they'd pull behind it, use it on the planter. It had a front mounted cultivator on it at one point. They had a dairy farm down in Johnston for many, many years. It was probably one of the go-to tractors. Uh, it had a, a new idea picker on it for a while. It was a really handy tractor. I got it about five years ago after my grandpa passed away. It had been sitting in the shed for quite a few years before that. And all I did to it was put a new battery in it and put some fresh gas in it and it fired right up. It's been through a lot. It's uh, survived a tornado in 1995. It was stored inside of a pole barn and the tornado kind of blew it in and there's a couple dents and dings here and there but kind of straightened it out. On the seat, when I first got it, it still had the crease where it's like a two by four kind of bent it in, so I had to straighten that out. The only thing I don't like about it is it's not power steering, so it's a little bit of cranking on the, the steering wheel. That's all right, I, I use it. I just got six acres here of hay ground, and so I just use it, pull a rake behind it, or I pulled the baler with it last year, and it, it just does a good job. I've got a six year old boy, and I'm sure he'll get into 4-H or FFA hopefully and maybe that'll be one of his projects is to restore it. It's a good tractor. I don't think I'd want to get rid of it for nothing. Folks, stay with us. Coming up, somebody's going to drive away with the feature item on our show today, this John Deere 8345R. Got 4,755 hours on it. I'm Richard Karn, and I love my hose. It ain't those old hoses. This is my hose. The new Pocket Hose Copper Bullet, now infused with real copper, so your water is always clean and lead-free. Just turn on the water and watch your hose grow and grow. And when you turn off the water, away it goes. Our new inner tube uses three layers of high-strength latex on the inside. Then it's wrapped in a new polymer filament jacket three times stronger than the other hoses. And I love the oversized, easy to grip fittings. Get the super light 25 foot pocket hose copper bullet today for only $29.99. But wait, call now and get our turbo shot adjustable nozzle absolutely free. This is an exclusive advanced release of our 2024 edition pocket hose. Order now. Call 1-800-957-1482 or visit copperbullethose.com. So call 1-800-957-1482 now. If you or a loved one has mesothelioma or any other asbestos-related cancer, call now. Asbestos manufacturers sold deadly asbestos materials to thousands of companies putting workers at risk. An estimated $30 billion in court-ordered trusts have been set aside to pay out claims to asbestos victims. You may be entitled to a portion of these funds and receive compensation without filing a lawsuit or ever going to court. For your free legal consultation, call 800-281-7095. That's 800-281-7095. I'm a non-attorney spokesperson. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. All right, folks, time for our feature item on the show today, this John Deere 8345R tractor. 
4,755 hours on it. Now, if you go to machinerypeat.com, as I've been saying for a long time now, all our auction pricing is free. We want you to hop in there. We have cool search filters. And if you punch up a John, your 8345R, and say, show me the average auction price between 4,000 and 5,500 hours, the last eight, the average price is 159,344 bucks, as high as 191 and as low as 127 and a quarter. Well, folks, I tell you what, you just watched the third highest auction price ever on a John Deere 8345R with between 4,000 and 5,500 hours. Comes in at 175. All right, folks, let's talk the importance of timing in life. Now, certainly personal relationships, business, even the used tractor market. Now, the very first 2016 model Case H Magnum 250 I ever saw hit the auction market was back on August 7th of 2018, a sale by our good friends at Sullivan Auctioneers. And of course, this was pre-pandemic, so it was an in-person auction. It was in Peru, Illinois. And here's a picture of the tractor they sold that day, a 2016 model Magnum 250, like new, only had 121 hours on it, and it went for 155,000 bucks. Now, of course, August of 18, the used uh, equipment market was pretty much in the doldrums, uh, just flat at best, uh, no push. Uh, now, two years later, August of 20, same auction company, Sullivan Auctioneers, had an online auction and uh, they sold a 16 model Magnum 250 that came from Huntington, Indiana. Again, super low hours, 496 hours, and that went for 130. Now, August of 20, that was a few months before commodity prices took off, fall of 20, and went skyward. And boy, since then, auction prices on good used equipment have just, you know, shot to the moon and haven't looked back. Now again, the importance of timing. On a February 18th, 2023 farm auction in Papillon, Nebraska, by my friends at SRAM Auction, Tom and the crew there do a great job, they sold this 2016 model Case H Magnum 250, 1,929 hours on it, but it sold for 194,250 bucks. So again, the importance of timing. And the takeaway message here, when other folks are pulling back, that is the time to be aggressive, folks. You can unlock untold value being aggressive when no one else feels like buying. Well, folks, we saw some really hot bidding on these nice John Deere tractors today. That 8360R, the bid looked like it was stalling out right around 159, 160. Winds up at 169.5, very strong. And of course, uh, very hot bidding as well on the 8345R. We will see you back here next week on Machine Repeat TV. Machine Repeat thanks these premier sponsors for their support.
Sullivan Auctioneers, a big iron company. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Big Iron Auctions and the Share Your Legacy program. Promoting the future of agriculture with amazing legacy stories from across America. Thank you for watching Good Morning Vale. Have an amazing day. Get on out there, soak up that sunshine. We'll see you tomorrow right here for more Good Morning Vale. Bye, everyone. Hi, I'm Gretchen Pleshaw. You might recognize me from the Glitz and Glam with Gretchen. Maybe you hear my voice on the radio from time to time or see me out at a concert or two. I love concerts. If you see me out, the long mermaid hair, I'm almost six foot tall. It's hard to miss. Come and say hi. Give me a high five. And make sure to watch me right here on TV8. TV8 is serving the community 24 hours a day, seven days a week, delivering content in all sorts of mediums. Take us with you on the go as Good Morning Vale and Good Day Vale are now available as podcasts. You can find us on Spotify, Apple, and Pandora. And don't forget, you can always find TV8 on YouTube, TV8Vale.com, and all of our social media platforms. Just another reason why there's more for you on 92. You're watching K34QB. It's time to get real green. In this episode, a family home undergoes a major energy audit and discovers how much money they can save with the help of a Los Angeles County rebate program. We can assess exactly how that house is actually working and why it's working the way it's working. Plus, learning how waste is being turned into renewable energy in India and a Pennsylvania community institutes a no mowing policy to enhance its water management program. All that and much, much more on Real Green. Thanks for joining us, I'm Alex Payne. Getting real green doesn't have to be expensive, nor does it mean completely changing your lifestyle. It's about common sense and trying some new ideas to protect our planet. Hey, my name is Albert Jardo. I live in San Fernando, California. My wife and I, we have three kids and two dogs. We're really into sports. Our kids play baseball and softball, and uh, we like going to the Dodger games. When Rhea showed up, they came in and did some of the tests that I had no idea what they were, the blower door and the air ducts, the air conditioning ceilings, and showed pictures of where heat was creeping in and we were losing air conditioning and stuff. Just like when you go to visit a doctor, you want him to do a lot of diagnostic tests to see how your body is performing. Are you healthy? And that's what we do with homes. The first thing that has to be done is the assessment. And during the assessment, we sit down with the homeowner for a short period of time, maybe 10 minutes, and we ask them some questions about their home. Typically, they'll say the upstairs is hotter than the downstairs, or that one room is colder or damper than the rest of the house. So we're getting information from them in terms of their health, upper respiratory situations, do they have any animals, how many people live in the house. And once we're able to collect that information along with our diagnostic tests, like the blower door, infrared camera, uh, duct blaster, all these different fancy technological tools, we can assess exactly how that house is actually working and why it's working the way it's working. And then we can fix it. They've been really good at 
explaining to me what's going on and what they were doing and, and where I would benefit with the work that they were, they, they were going to have done. We're talking about ducts. We have a new system, so we don't want the ducts in the attic to be leaking that are supplying both the return and supply air into the HVAC system. So we're just trying to calculate how much is actually being distributed as, as it's intended. What we want is zero air leakage to the outside. All the money that you pay to run your heater and air conditioner, we want that air to be in the house and distributed to the rooms that it's needed. We don't want any leaking to the outdoors. That's wasted dollars going up into the air of the neighborhood. If we're leaking inside the house, we're still capturing some of the heating and cooling. But if it's leaking outside of the house, like the attic, well, there's all your dollars out into the attic, outside. So you're effectively, with a high efficient system that you've paid a lot of money for, you're heating and cooling your neighbor's yard. And that's a money loss. They uh, air sealed our crawl space underneath the home and insulated the crawl space also. They did the same thing up in the attic. And what we did is we used a spray foam and we're able to spray foam one inch and what it does is it seals up all the cracks plus it adds our value. So that was great. We even did underneath the house in the crawl space. So the homeowner is saying now his wood floors aren't creaking anymore. So he already sees the added benefit. They changed some of the lighting in the kitchen and in the living room to these uh, LED can lights. And what LEDs do is they don't allow the room to get really hot and they use very little energy at all. So 90% of the electricity that is being used is actually to light it. In regular dinosaur lights, 90% of the energy is used is just to heat the house up and is wasting electricity. There's eight lights in the living room and all those eight lights are 84 watts. The old light bulb, one by itself, was 75 watts. So it's basically you're running eight lights would used to run one light with. So it, it makes a difference. It's cool to see what the difference is in energy. And you never realize it until you look at it. And I think that like that G meter is great for that. They changed the air conditioning system. We got a new pool pump. Just the pool pump itself is supposed to save like 20% energy by itself. And then the solar. What we did for this house, uh, we installed a 2.5 kilowatt system. That gives a reduction of about 30% in the electricity costs. Typical installation takes about two days, one day for prepping, the second day for installation, and it doesn't really take that much uh, of work. So the great thing about this Gerardo family home is that not only were we able to really reduce his utility consumption by all those energy efficiency upgrades, but we were able to add the solar system. And what we're hoping is that that is going to net out the rest of his electric use. So hopefully when he gets his bill, it'll be very small. One of the benefits of having a solar system is that excess energy that's produced by your system will be sold back to the great company where you could actually make money out of it. So it's an investment that will be there forever. Well, we're really excited about the solar and just seeing the, we have it, it's called the G-meter that they also installed. So it, sh it shows how much energy we're using from the grid or, or if we're giving back to the grid. So that's pretty cool to know that, that it's going to lower our bills a lot. And with three kids, you could always use the money for something else. We also put in a small dual pane window that was in the bathroom. That'll help in terms of the envelope and air leakage as well. One of my favorite upgrades to this home is the Cyber Rain Smart Irrigation System. It's automatic, but it's also programmable. We program this uh, smart irrigation controller to the type of lawn, type of plants, whether they're drought tolerant or what have you, and it knows exactly how much water each station should get. So the Cyber Rain controller is also plugged into the Wi-Fi, so it goes online by itself. Nobody has to log in. This isn't dial-up. It's, it's really fast and it checks the weather, knows if it's raining, the humidity levels, so you won't see this system sprinkling this lawn when it's raining outside, that's for sure. This unit will drastically reduce water consumption on this home. So now you've got a near-zero energy home that's performing well, that has better value in terms of resale, and is healthier for your family. I think it's a really good benefit for people to do to their home so they could see minor changes that they can do and save, you know, 10, 15, 20 percent. It doesn't seem like a lot, but in the long run it adds up.
Visit our website, realgreentv.net, to learn more about other green stories and new green ideas. Don't go away. We'll be right back. We made a promise to our boy Blue that we would make the healthiest foods possible with the finest natural ingredients and real meat first. And that's our promise to you and your dog or cat. Because when you love them like family, you want to feed them like family. There's a new victim of identity theft every three seconds. Checking your credit score or bank statements may not be enough to alert you. That's because identity threats appear in more places than you realize, making it dangerously easy to become a victim. Someone got my social security number, made a driver's license, and tried to buy a car in my name. Felt really devastating, frightened, because I had no control. Identity thieves can use your information to open loans, transfer home titles, even commit crimes. Someone used my information to open up bank accounts in my name. It was terrifying, not knowing what was out there and what had been opened. But protecting your identity can be easy with LifeLock, a leader in identity theft protection. LifeLock monitors for threats to your identity, especially ones you may miss by simply checking your accounts or credit. If there's an issue, LifeLock will alert you. There was a big yes button and there was a big no button. So I clicked, that's not me, and LifeLock took it from there. And if you're a victim, your dedicated U.S.-based restoration specialist will work to fix it. If something happens, you have somebody fighting for you. I don't know what I would have done without my restoration specialist. All plans backed by LifeLock's million-dollar protection package, including reimbursement for stolen funds, personal expenses, and coverage for lawyers and experts if needed. With the million-dollar protection package, I know LifeLock has me covered. It can be dangerously easy to steal your identity, but now it's easy to help protect yourself. I realize identity theft can happen to anybody, so that's why I signed up for LifeLock. Join the millions of people already protected by LifeLock and for a limited time, save 25% with promo code 25 today. LifeLock, identity theft protection starts here. Call 800-211-8742 or visit LifeLock.com slash 25 today and use promo code 25 today to save 25% on your first year of identity theft protection. Enroll now. What should we do? I'm going to CashNetUSA.com. I can apply in minutes, and if approved, we can have the money as soon as the same business day. Go to CashNetUSA.com to apply for the money you need. Time now for our Real Green Spotlight Report. Burning off crop waste is an all too common sight across India. It's bad for people and the environment. But Avalon Clean Energy in Gujarat saw this as a business opportunity, turning waste into renewable energy. We are at a place where we know for a fact that energy requirements are going to increase as emerging economies come into the economic mainstream. Renewable energy in that sense is completely critical uh, for our future as a planet and as a human race. Big businesses in Gujarat, one of India's most industrialized states, burn a lot of coal and lignite, a type of soft brown fuel. So replacing them with Avalon's biomass pellets helps cut carbon emissions. Here, fields of cotton leave farmers with tons of waste. Now, instead of burning it, they bring it to Avalon's collection points, where it's carefully weighed. And they get paid right away. It's good money for local farmers. From the collection point, the chopped waste is transported to one of the pellet plants, which Avalon has built. It's heated, compressed, and made into pellets in just 45 minutes. Now they are ready to deliver to clients. 
In this combined heat and power plant, pellets have replaced lignite, generating both heat and electricity for the factory. No technical changes were needed, and the pellets produce as much energy as lignite. And the switch has made a real difference to the workforce. Right from the start, Avalon knew they had to make sure that they had a reliable supply of raw material. So they set up a non-governmental organization to work with the farmers. Run by local people, the NGO is known and trusted in the community. The NGO representatives advise the farmers about sustainable farming, how to increase yields, and which crops to grow to deal with the changing climate. With plans to expand, Avalon will need even more sources of biomass in the future. They are working on quick growing crops, such as bamboo, which can be planted on spare land. Other scientists are analyzing biomass samples from all over the world to help meet the global demand for pellets. I think pellets are uh, completely essential as we address the energy crisis because uh, A, they are made out of waste and therefore become a very good use of this waste. B, they have the ability to fit within existing energy systems. I completely think that uh, pellets are going to be an essential force in driving the energy economy of tomorrow. We'll be back with more Real Green right after this brief break. There's a new victim of identity theft every three seconds. And checking your credit score or bank statements may not be enough to alert you. That's because identity threats appear in more places than you realize. Identity thieves can use your information to open loans, transfer home titles, even commit crimes. Someone stole my information and tried to buy a car in my name. LifeLock monitors for threats to your identity, including ones you may miss, and alerts you if there's an issue. And if you're a victim, your dedicated U.S.-based restoration specialist will work to fix it. If something happens, you have somebody fighting for you. All plans backed by LifeLock's million-dollar protection package, including reimbursement for stolen funds. I know LifeLock has me covered. LifeLock. Identity theft protection starts here. Call the number on your screen or visit LifeLock.com slash 25 now and use promo code 25 now to save 25% on your first year of identity theft protection. Enroll now. If you haven't seen Good Day of Vale lately, here's what you've been missing. I'm Cece Zach, and I'm the host of Good Day Vale, and you can find us on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92 or on our website at tvavale.com and on YouTube. We're here to serve the Vale Valley, and we look forward to sharing our story with all of you. Did you know that all Eagle County residents and visitors can get a free Eagle Valley Library District card? All you need is a photo ID. You get our online databases and resources, free music, free streaming, all from wherever you have internet access. Free audiobooks and e-audiobooks 
straight to your phone. Go into your Eagle Valley Library District branch today and get your library card. Experience the beauty of fall on the rails of the Leadville Railroad. Take in the cool mountain breeze as you climb to 11,000 feet to watch the vibrant reds, oranges, and golds of fall come alive. Enjoy delicious hot beverages, learn some history, and relax with family and friends. Even your pets can enjoy a ride on the train. Offering daily trips, the weekend specials sell out fast. To secure your seat, book today at LeadvilleRailroad.com. Welcome back to Real Green, the show that explores new green ideas. Way back in Pennsylvania, before development, there was a lot of woods, and periodically there would be a windstorm or a fire, and the trees would fall down, and there would be a little opening in the forest, and a meadow would form there. Eventually, it would grow back into a forest, but Basically, meadows are a natural feature of Pennsylvania. Meadows are really important for wildlife and stormwater management. When it rained, you know, the water just fell on the forest, was absorbed by the trees, evaporated or infiltrated into the ground. And then, as there was more and more development, that same rain was falling on pavement and rooftops and streets, and it started to run off, going very rapidly into creeks and streams and causing a lot of damage. Another problem to work through is there's a lot of lawns out there and a lot of times the land has been compacted and then you've got this grass on top of it and it's not quite concrete but it's you know it's closer to concrete than it is to a natural environment so the water is just sort of running across the top of it and not sinking into the ground the grass lawn has maybe a six inches of roots and a meadow grass would have three four or five feet of root structure so when stormwater is running off the land and hits a meadow it's going to hit those roots and infiltrate much more than a mowed lawn we're looking at how land use practices are now where we mow a lot of our grass. So if you look at suburbia, at residential developments, or our parks, or our roadways, there's just a lot of lawns out there. What we're trying to do with our mowing to meadow programs is just have a little less of the mow grass and more of our natural meadows. We're in Mondock Park, we're in Upper Dublin. This was a very good opportunity to create a meadow in a highly visible location in this area. Is now in transition from turf grass that's being killed off so that we can seed it with warm season grass. What we're, we're doing here is we're taking turf and we're converting it to a different species called warm season grasses that would have been native to this region when you had openings in the forest. These grasses have a very different root system so when stormwater comes into this ground it'll infiltrate better. It's also going to provide habitat. Turf does not provide much habitat for anything much but robins but when the higher grass is in here, you'll notice a difference in the amount of bird species that are also here, as well as insect populations that would utilize the grasslands. And we're actually trying to reduce the amount of mowing that occurs in the park, reducing our carbon footprint. And we're converting areas that don't receive a whole lot of public use, but can be seen by the public. And we're creating a very sharp edge to so the idea is that people know that this is on purpose rather than just being neglected. We I picked this corner specifically because of its prominence both for the road and for the visiting public. We'll have a sign we'll go up to educate people, let them know, you know what a meadow is and what the benefits are. And our hope is that this is sort of more of a common practice in municipal parks around in the area where there's lots of lawn being mowed and we feel that you know, a portion of that can be converted into a meadow. This park is a multi-use park. There is two tennis courts here, a basketball court, and a baseball field. The facilities do get a lot of use, but down the hill is an area that they felt would not be a detriment to leaving it, you know, a two to three foot tall meadow grass, and it would save on mowing and reduce pollution and decrease runoff. Now, native grasses are much preferable to invasives. It really only requires to be mowed once a year. There's the cost of the metal installation, but over five or 10 years, and it gets into just the thousands and thousands of dollars of savings. Oftentimes, people see very ordered landscapes as very beautiful. That English park look 
lawn and trees. And what we really need, particularly as more and more places are destroyed, is to bring back full ecosystem. So we often have to think of ways in which we can get people's eyes to be retrained to recognize the beauty. A lot of people don't like change, right? There's a lot of residents here that have been here for 50 years, so they're used to seeing it a certain way. But uh, everybody around this park was notified about the work that was going on. And overall, it's been a very popular project with our neighbors. We feel that eventually people will hopefully look out and see these tall, waving grasses with butterflies and birds, and they'll realize that this is beautiful, and we'd like to see more of it. Real Green continues right after this brief break. Here at Sun and Ski Sports, we are all about having the best summer adventures. Our full service bike shop is here to help you get back on the saddle with services ranging from simple tire changes full bike overhauls and rentals. If trail running, hiking, or trips to the lake are your thing, our expert staff will fit you in the best performing footwear or clothing. And don't forget about a relaxing day on the water with our stand-up paddleboard rentals. Call Sun and Ski Sports in Avon or Dillon today or learn more at sunandski.com forward slash CO. When you're in Vail, you're in vacation mode and you need a flexible home tour experience that fits into your schedule. We've transformed how you view and buy homes in the Vail Valley. With immersive, cutting-edge technology, you can explore properties 10 times faster. In our lounge, we guide you through this digital world on a 16-foot screen where you can imagine your next home in comparison to your favorite recreational spots. Say goodbye to multi-day home tours and hello to a quick stop between your other plans. That's the power of the immersion theater. Close captioning sponsored in part by... A wolf in the wild and your dog both share a hunger for meat. That's why Blue Wilderness is made with more of the meat your dog loves. Go wild with protein-rich Blue Wilderness. We need some help. I know. I'm going to CashNetUSA.com. And if approved, we can have the money in our account as soon as the same business day. Go to CashNetUSA.com to apply for the money you need. Hi, it's Julio from tv 8 Vail. Do you ever wonder why our tagline is there's more for you on 92? Because we're always bringing you more. More Good Morning Vail from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. all year long. More local coverage with Vail Vibes and Covered Bridge on TV8. More opportunities to participate with new roundtable panels on Mountain Perspectives and our new Spanish programming block coming this fall. Find us on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92 on YouTube or our website at tv 8 valecom Most of the plastic wrap around toilet paper and paper towels is made from film plastic, usually a low density plastic called polypropylene. And many times this wrapping doesn't contain any recyclable markings. However, many cities do allow this type of plastic waste to be placed in recycle bins. When in doubt though, remember it's always best to check with your local municipality. And that's this edition of Real Green. Thanks for watching. Join us next time as we explore new green ideas and present interesting green stories. I'm Alex Payne. On the next Real Green, we'll explore new green ideas and show you how some people are becoming real green. All around the world, people are doing all types of things to make the planet greener. And it doesn't have to be expensive, nor does it mean completely changing your lifestyle. 
It's about common sense and trying some new ideas. I'm Alex Payne. Join me for the next edition of Real Green. We made a promise to our boy Blue that we would make the healthiest foods possible with the finest natural ingredients and real meat first. And that's our promise to you and your dog or cat. Because when you love them like family, you want to feed them like family. Yeah, dude, that doesn't look good. I know what to do. I'm going to castnetusa.com. I can apply minutes, and if approved, I can have the money as soon as the same business day. Go to castnetusa.com to apply for the money you need. Follow us on Facebook at Real Green TV. Nap Harvest, your local marketplace for fresh, locally produced products. Our indoor farmer's market is open seven days a week, featuring locally grown organic produce, prepared meals, honey from our nap nectar hive, furniture, cutting boards, and much more. We source and sell locally grown and produced products from the Vale and Roaring Fork Valleys. Visit us at our new location in Eagle Ranch, 717 Sylvan Lake Road, next door to Color Coffee Roasters. Gear up, get ready to plan a day. The mountains are calling you out to play. Come on, we'll make you feel right at home. Good day, Vale. Good day, Vale. See what lies in store for you There's so many things to see and do Summer, winter, spring or fall You're home in the Rockies as it all So gear up, get ready to plan your day The ideas are brewing, you're on your way The fun is waiting outside your door Good day, Bill, good day, Bill and welcome to this episode of Good Day Vale. My name is Cece Zach, and I am so excited to bring to you Chris Anthony. Yes, the Chris Anthony, the skier, the Hall of Fame inductee for Colorado snow sports, um, the, the guide, the European guide, the filmmaker, and the founder of the Chris Anthony Youth Project. Please stay tuned because his story is so inspirational about how to reinvent yourself and continually give back to the sport that created who he is today. So come right back. This is a Good Day Vale episode with Chris Anthony. Good day, Vale. Nap Harvest, your local marketplace for fresh, locally produced products. Our indoor farmer's market is open seven days a week, featuring locally grown organic produce, prepared meals, honey from our nap nectar hive, furniture, cutting boards, and much more. We source and sell locally grown and produced products from the Vale and Roaring Fork Valleys. Visit us at our new location in Eagle Ranch, 717 Sylvan Lake Road, next door to Color Coffee Roasters. Did you know that all Eagle County residents and visitors can get a free Eagle Valley Library District card? All you need is a photo ID. You get our online databases and resources, free music, free streaming, all from wherever you have internet access. Free audiobooks and e-audiobooks straight to your phone. Go into your Eagle Valley Library District branch today and get your library card.
Thank you for watching Good Morning Vale. Have an amazing day. Get on out there, soak up that sunshine. We'll see you tomorrow right here for more Good Morning Vale. Bye, everyone. Hi, I'm Gretchen Pleshaw. You might recognize me from the Glitz and Glam with Gretchen. Maybe you hear my voice on the radio from time to time or see me out at a concert or two. I love concerts. If you see me out, the long mermaid hair, I'm almost six foot tall, it's hard to miss. Come and say hi, give me a high five and make sure to watch me right here on TV8. And welcome back to Good Day Vale. I am so excited to bring to you today Chris Anthony and all of his glory. And we get the chance to spend time with him and learn about who he is, what makes him tick, and the phenomenal impact he has had on the sport of skiing and with youth. So with that, Chris, one of the things that we I like to ask our viewers is, why Vale? What brought you to Vale? How long have you been here? And why do you stay here? I've been here a very long time. I don't want to totally date myself, but I, I was first originally brought here on a so, sort of a scholarship and an invitation from Ski Club Vale, which is the local race program for youth here. And um, that put me, originally I was driving over from Sub, Summit County. Okay. And then uh, eventually I got to move in with a family right in Vale Village, uh, stay with them. And then I went, attended Battle Mountain High School. And then we would be released at 12 noon every day and go train so on Gold Peak. It was a very good program, very good development, and uh, that's what got me here. And then eventually my parents ended up moving their life and their business here by my senior year of high school. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And, and obviously that's where the first start of your love for skiing yeah. happened. Well, my start for my love for skiing and the start of skiing started long before that in Crested Butte because uh, my parents met in Crested Butte and uh, they, they, they had to move to Denver because it was a little you know rough back then but they continued up on the weekends to go up oh. to the mountains and work at ski areas and make it possible for us to ski for them to ski and for they wanted their kids to ski really quickly so that they could enjoy skiing. How many siblings do you have? So I just have a sister. Okay. And um, so both my parents basically would go up and work at the ski resorts on the weekend, first Crested Butte, then Copper, and then basically the ski area raised my sister and I. And so if I fast forward, mm -hmm. You um, were awarded, uh, you were inducted into the Hall of Fame for Colorado Snow Sports. Yeah. Um, and so tell us a little bit about how you got there. What was the journey? Mm. Um, you, you taught us about the beginning of how you started skiing, but I mean, there's so much time in between. Yeah. Just give us a little snapshot of everything that you've done. Well, that was, that was a magical evening, um, obviously, uh, to be recognized by your peers to, at such a high level, especially here in the state. The journey there, I mean, it's, it's been very, it's, it's, it's huge. I mean, I, I've, I've touched every aspect of this sport and none of it was by design. This has all been very organic and I think by just pure passion. But the, to be there and inducted amongst and look out at the audience at literally the people that mentored me, the people that I looked up to and thought, how could I ever be at their level? And uh, you're giving spit, me goosebumps, uh, yeah. so keep going. This <laughs> it's is awesome. It's choking me up. So, like, literally, specifically, I looked out and there was a, a gentleman by the name of Andy Mill who was uh, a 1976 Olympian, 80 Olympian, um, one of the coolest, most amazing individuals that was on the U.S. ski team. There was everything about him was cool as a little young male fee a male you know skier mm -hmm. looking up at this guy that was the guy i wanted to be um he was a and he was there he, honoring you well he was the you know naturally he has been inducted into yeah. all the halls of fame uh, as well as an olympian and everything and he was the guy that showed up at my house in denver you know to uh, because uh, it's a long story how he met my parents but he ended up doing, um, my dad was a jeweler, and my dad made a ring for Andy when he married Chris, the, Everett. Chris Everett. Yep. And so Andy showed up at our house in Denver, and if you can imagine, just be a little kid, like, 
there's Andy Mill. Yeah. There's Andy Mill. And he gave me his poles, his downhill poles, which at the time were like way too big. I mean, they, they were like this, but I used those poles. And there's pictures of me sitting in the start house with poles this big, totally against what I should be doing. But to be that, have that idol yeah, and okay. have him integrated into my life and then to have him being on one of the selection committees that would induct me into the Hall of Fame. That was a that, special that night. That is just, that's yeah. you're giving me goosebumps. But, it, but it's because of that mentorship, right? Yeah. Which is also why I do everything else with the youth. Well, and to your point, um, everything else, and, and <clears> we're going to get into the youth, but you're, you've been a skier. Your, your goals as a young child, correct me if I'm wrong, was that you wanted to be the best skier. Um, yeah. And that, you know, whether it was the Olympics, but tell us about, you know, competing and then how you got involved with Warren Miller. Okay, so the, the natural journey that most young alpine ski racers wanted, they, you want to be an Olympian. You want to be, you want to be the Michaela Schifrin, right? Mm -hmm. And that's, as a kid, that's what you aspire to. And of course, Andy, for example, going back to him, I would go to these ski camps at Copper that we in the summer and Andy was actually one of the coaches as well as he, he was there training and like one day he he went out I saw that he went out on his bike and he rode to Leadville and so I got out on a little bike and tried to do what he was doing and so I took those steps that I thought that's what makes the best the best so I want to follow all those good procedures um, Andy also said one thing that was so impactful, and that was that he goes, he said, if you set a goal for yourself, do everything possible to work towards that goal. And he goes, but you may not reach that goal, mm -hmm. but the journey that it's going to take you on is going to be something very spectacular. Oh. So my goal was to be the best skier in the world, Obviously, I didn't make that goal, but what it did was open up so many other doors and that I aspired to get through each one. And how can I deliver on each one of those doors that I'm going through? So that's what's led to this journey that's basically to the Hall of Fame and stuff like that. I mean, it, 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 these doors that you're talking about, I mean, after your competing years, um, you got asked to ski in more Miller films, right? So tell us a little bit about that journey. So one of the definitely most depressing times for a young athlete, and it's hard to believe that this stuff happens, um, even for a retiring veteran athlete, is when you're basically told that you're, you're being put out to pasture, that you're too old. And it's the weirdest thing in the world, but... That happened to me, and I was only 20 years old. Now, at the time, it seemed like I was so old, but now I think back of it, you're so young. But I was basically told that I had to make a decision, and the, the one side of it was that to um, go to school, to go, I ended up going to the University of Colorado. But the thing was, is I was a DF student, so I was not a very, I was, I was not, I, not getting anywhere academically. I literally at one t point was told by a, a counselor that I should be prepared to be, literally go pick up trash. Oh and um, I was dyslexic. No child should ever hear that. Yeah, it's brutal. And I was, you know, I was dyslexic. I was not smart. I was the DF student. Um, my ACT scores were terrible. My SAT scores were terrible. But thankfully, a, a, a counselor showed up at Battle Mountain from the University of Colorado, and the principal had the foresight to go, when the counselor asked, who in your school shows potential but doesn't on the paper mm -hmm. look like they deserve a chance? Right. And that was me. So wow. thankfully, that counselor found a way for me to go to the University of Colorado yeah. as an academically probationary scholarship athlete okay so i went in and but at the same time i was still ski racing and i also made the junior national cycling team so a total yeah. underachiever on the yeah, athlete but, side of things oh my goodness who but, cares about academics huh? but, but those are a long shot right like yeah. and, and here's this opportunity all of a sudden uh, something that was never going to be happen me going to 
to college. And so do I push all that other stuff aside and go to CU? Yeah. And so that's what I did. And I couldn't get the, um, but they couldn't get the competition bug out of me, you know, especially skiing. And um, so I started going and competing in every different thing that could possibly pop up competition wise. And there was a really fun event back then called the Hardcore Skier Challenge, which the, the competitor, the skier, had to do a, a slalom, a giant slalom, a mogul course, a jump, and it was a race to the bottom. Oh my God, I'm exhausted listening to it, this. It was awesome. And <laughs> one of my idols actually was in one of the events, and we were sort of going head to head. And at, at the end of the day, he beat me, but he asked uh, like what I was doing over the next few weeks. And I said, well, I'm at, at school at CU. And he goes, do you think you can take some time off because we need another athlete to go to Europe with us and film? And I was like, are you kidding? Who, like what? And it turned out it was Warren Miller. Ah. And that's how that door opened. So I want you to hold on to that thought okay. because we have to take a station break. And please stay tuned because the rest of Chris's story is so heartwarming about the lessons that he learned from a child all the way to today and how he gives back to the community and helps us live our best lives. So stay tuned. This is CeCe Zach and Good Day Vale with Chris Anthony. We'll be right back. Good Day Vale. Familia de Chivier, estamos muy emocionados de seguir avanzando nuestra programación en español. Recientemente tuvimos un exitoso evento donde colaboramos con nuestra comunidad para desarrollar ideas sobre nuestro contenido y nuestra programación en español. Así que muchísimas gracias a todas las personas que asistieron. Y si no tuviste la oportunidad de contribuir, aún puedes mandarme tus comentarios a través de correo electrónico. Y además te invitamos a seguir nuestras nuevas redes sociales para estar al tanto de todo nuestro contenido en español. Nos encuentras en Instagram y Facebook, arroba TV8 Conexión Latina o nuestra página web tv 8 velcom diagonal Conexión Latina. Recuerda que puedes sintonizar toda la programación de TV8 a través del canal 92 de Comcast o nuestra página web tv8bell.com. TV8 is excited to continue making progress to our Spanish programming. We recently had a successful event at our studio where we collaborated with community members to develop ideas for the future of our Spanish programming. So thank you to everyone who came out. And if you didn't get a chance to contribute, you can still send me your comments via email. You can also now follow our new Spanish social media accounts on Facebook and Instagram at TV8 Conexión Latina or our website tv8vel.com slash Conexión Latina so you can stay up to date on all our Spanish content. Remember, you can also tune in to all of our TV8 programming on Comcast Channel 92 or our website at tv8vel.com. If you haven't seen Good Day Vale lately, here's what you've been missing. and I'm the host of Good Day Vale, and you can find us on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92 or on our website at tvavale.com and on YouTube. We're here to serve the Vale Valley, and we look forward to sharing our story with all of you. Experience the beauty of fall on the rails of the Leadville Railroad. Take in the cool mountain breeze as you climb to 11,000 feet to watch the vibrant reds, oranges, and golds of fall come alive. Enjoy delicious hot beverages, learn some history, and relax with family and friends. Even your pets can enjoy a ride on the train. Offering daily trips, the weekend specials sell out fast. To secure your seat, 
book today at leadvillerailroad.com. Welcome back to Good Day Bail. I'm Cece Zach, and here with me today in the house is Chris Anthony. And where we just left off, Chris was going to start talking about how he entered into his current role of filmmaking. But it all started because you started skiing for Warren Miller. Tell us all about that. Yeah, so that's a dream come true. Yeah. Obviously, especially during my time growing up, the, the, the famous filmmaker Warren Miller grew up going to the films every year and watching them and wishing that someday maybe I could be in one and uh, Warren himself would be there. And so that's how I grew up with the films. And all of a sudden I received this invitation to go ski in one by one of, again, one of my mentors. And thankfully it was one of the most healthy mentors you could have, a guy by the name of Mark, Mike Farney. He was a prodigy on the US ski team, one of the most amazing skiers that I've ever seen. And what I got to go to Europe with Mike Farney being the elder athlete and I was the rookie and he was the perfect person to go with because he was the one that kept me humble and he said if you want to continue on with these experiences then his first words were you need to learn how to carry the tripod and do the hard work it's not about you being some star or something you need to participate on the production side on the helping side and he goes, the skiing is going to be the easiest part. And did you ever think at that point that you would even be behind a camera? No, you no. would be in front of the camera. No, I, I was just hoping that I would get invited to, to I was already stay. thinking yeah. on the first time that I got to go on a trip with Warren Miller, I was already going, how do I get to do this again, even though I was there? Like, I want to do whatever possible so I can be a come, be come back. Yeah. And so basically with those values and those principles that... Um, Mike set for me, that lasted 28 years. I got asked back 28 wow. years in a row. No one ever does anything for 28 yeah, years anymore. And, and, and the other reason I got asked back a lot was because I was also willing to make a complete and total fool of myself. You know, not being, everybody wants to be represented, especially the skiers as somebody like so cool that they're doing something so rad. Yeah. I was willing to like do whatever it took, you know. You make fun of me, do, do whatever you can, uh, send me to weird places, which actually turned out to be a blessing because I got to go on some amazing adventures with the company. And what else that did too was that first trip, um, you know, was during a period of time where I came back and I was searching for, well, what's the rest of my life have in stand for me? And I ended up getting an internship with a, a film company out of Aspen called Free Will and Films. Mm -hmm. And they, they took me as their grunt, as their, one of their, you know, just their grunts on a shoot to go shoot Budweiser commercials with the Clydesdales. <laughs> and it was awesome because we traveled all up and down the West Coast ah. with the Clydesdales. And, and what was your role with them at the time? I literally, everything from taking the trash out, getting coffee, to being yelled at all the time, you know, move a camera over there, pick something up there. I was the grunt. So like that's where you one... got your start then, is it? Yes. And then... All right. So then let's fast forward to your movie today. Well, so the magic part of that is that on that journey with this film company, we ended up in L.A. where I was sitting at a table with a bunch of agents and everything, and they... Um, and I was just the grunt. I was just sitting at the end of the table and somebody brought it up. They go, yeah, Chris down there is a professional skier and he went on a Warren Miller shoot. So if they all knew who Warren Miller was. They were like, tell us about that. Yeah. And I told them the story about just what previously happened in France. And they told me to go home and write a script, a screenplay. And um, simultaneously, one of my closest friends had died. So I ended up writing this story that, uh, that I called Ian's Edge at the time. And um, it took me quite a while to write it. And after I got done, I didn't know what to do with it, so I applied to USC Film School. And with the um, letters from Warren Miller Entertainment and from a few people in LA that were at that meeting, I got into the graduate film program. And what I realized there was that I was just almost in competition with my professors because they're basically Hollywood people that aren't working, so they go teach. Yeah. That sounds terrible, but it's the truth. And so I ended up 
getting an internship for Michael Douglas at Paramount Studios. Okay. And um, so I went there and I really learned the back side of the production and the filmmaking. And while I was there, there was another familiar name that will pop up. She reached out to me and said, Chris, I, I'm going to start a TV show, a ski magazine TV show, Brenda Buglioni, who mm -hmm. has had this show, Snow Motion, for, I don't even know now, 40 years or what? And she said, can you come help us and be a producer on it? And I, she thought that I knew more than what I did, but I said, sure, of course. So I had to kind of learn on the fly the editing, the story building, and everything. Cause, so I was helping Brenda build segments for that show. Wow, this is amazing. This is yes. such a phenomenal example of you opening doors. Um, yeah. just they, they just, they, you, you are. You gotta go through them though. That, that, this is true. Yeah. So you go through this door and then all of a sudden now you film Mission Mountain Mangart, which is just phenomenal. Yeah. Um, tell us about it being full circle of everything that you've done in your life. So if you skip way ahead,